We are here with Perth's most notorious lawyer, Brett Blake. <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking awesome uh, episode, man. Thanks for coming on. What do we talk about today? Yeah. We What didn't we fucking talk about? <laughs> we uh, we talked about me getting arrested. We talked about my chronic alcoholism. <laughs> we talked about Sharks. dirt biking. We talked about shark, att- shark attacks. It's Shark Week here, baby. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and and special cucumbers. Special cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to want to fucking hear yeah. this story. Yeah, if you've ever is- wanted to jerk off a cucumber, <laughs> it comes with mixed results. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's get hard. Wait, Delby, you keep forgetting oh. me. We've got sponsors these oh, days. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout right. out to Delby's mum. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, thanks for letting me live on the couch. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Raunchy Brewing Co. Uh, it actually is good. It's actually good. It's actually good. It's fucking it actually, oh, it actually is good. And uh, yeah, thank you for your support. Cheers. Let's get hard. Let's get hard. Welcome to Hard Yarns Podcast. I am fucking fat. (laughs) (laughs) Anything Chris White says, please (laughs) disregard it. 5D is actually a state of being. It's a unity consciousness. That was Hard Yarns with me, Frankie Rose. So I'm going to throw it over to your co-hosts. Daniel Telby. And Cameron Branch. I would do this and then I'd gong. (laughs) (laughs) Free in attendance. For the millions listening at home. <laughs> Let's get hard. <laughs> She's uh, sweating, sorry, uh, mate. Anyway, it's me and Wolfie and her. We didn't count. And Wolfie looked at the end and was like, fuck, does green mean it's it's been recording and it's all good? <laughs> oh, yeah, the <laughs> first one. Does green mean thumbs up? It's like a traffic light. <laughs> And I was nah, like, bro. nah, bro. He's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he, pressed, he pressed record at the end. It was, yeah. It was like, a, it lights up. It's a big ass green. See that blue yeah, button? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, fuck, man. It's an hour and a half. We sat in here. Did, did <laughs> and no one's got the energy to go again. You're was like, it a good app, oh, no. you reckon? It was, yeah, it was pretty deep and meaningful. And oh, funny. no. Yeah. The deep clips are going off for us, actually. Yeah. But we're not going to go too deep today. We're nah, going to have a bit no. of fun. Yeah. Mm. So. We are joined by Brett Blake, fucking Perth's best lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I reckon a few other lawyers around here would disagree with that. As a comedian. Corey White would probably be the best lawyer, wouldn't he? Well, well he's not a lawyer. Yeah. So Actually, well, I'll take back the yeah. title then. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, or, or Robbie Tedeschi, but again, not a lawyer. Not a lawyer. Not a lawyer. Yeah. So, yeah no, no, welcome. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. I seen you been on at lounge last week. How's that? Man, good Comedy stuff. Lounge is good. There's so many good clubs in Western Australia and, God, yeah. you know, the comedy scene's really kicked off here. So mm. it's good. There's so many more options and there's so many great comics coming up, so I'm fucking loving it. Mm. Yeah, what do you reckon... Was that COVID, do you reckon, just sort of forced it? Um, nah. Because it was already happening a bit, but, yeah. but it's just well, like... It's like in that two-year period, like, we were the only fucking place in the world open, so... Oh, man, I was yeah. so dark. We're stuck in the fucking Melbourne lockdown, and I'm just looking at everyone going, how the fuck is that guy getting a gig? <laughs> yeah. So are we. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it must be nice to try your first five in front of a thousand people. Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, he's yeah, right yeah. here. <laughs> he's right we're here. looking at him right now. Yeah, yeah, like, my fifth or... No, it was, like, my eighth gig was at Regal Theatre. So <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm doing a gig to Zoom. <laughs> oh, you want to turn off your mics and black out your windows, do you? Good on you, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah it, was, uh, it's, it was nice to be able to get get comedy still going and being able to do stuff. Do you think everyone shut down? Like, because everyone started going to the comedy, do you reckon people are starting to get sick of the same people, though? Uh, I, th- I know they did, because people would be like, we saw this person last time we came, mm. they did the same set. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, so I deleted them. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of stuck as well because you're probably like maybe there's like say 10 to 15 headliners. There's only so many times you can rotate them. Yeah. And you're like, I can't mm. look at this guy again. I know everything. Yeah. You know well, it's mean? like the Sons of Fred, for example. Fucking ripper, fun. Oh, I love yep. them. Every time I watch them, I still enjoy them. They're just that yeah. ha- happy, feel good. But fuck, if you were paying to go to the Comedy Lounge to see them and then they were headlining again, which yep. they did a fair bit, fuck, you, you start to get a bit annoyed. Man, I was trying to do a border run. I was like, man, I'm going to make so much fucking cash. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like the only headliner that they haven't seen, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. bump my rates up. <laughs> Guys, I want a fucking limo, yeah. all right? Make that shit happen, yeah? yeah? There are a few people that, I, I mean, I can, 
watch over and over again. Wolfie, Pinder, yeah. Marsh. I love watching Daniel Marsh. Delby. Delby. I'll watch you. Brad Blake. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen you yet, so yeah. I'm excited. I'll have to come down and Come on, and mate. Watch. Haven't you ever been yeah. on the fucking internet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty big. It's an honour and privilege for you to have me I here. I haven't been to... <laughs> Fuck, the disrespect I get in my own hometown. <laughs> Show me. Get the respect. Oh, I haven't been to see you, so I'll come and watch. No, but um, I wouldn't fucking watch it either, don't worry. <laughs> I'm, was, there, I'm there saying it, I don't want to fucking be there. Speaking of put on, putting on shows, before we get any further, like we put on uh, a little fringe preview. It went fucking awesome. That was yeah. good fun. Yeah. Um, Cam didn't come on. Like an asshole who's producing today. That's probably why it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Got rid of the fucking dead weight. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, it was good. Good fun. Like we uh, we packed out the room. We had to move the, the yeah. seats to the other side because of the because uh, of the music down below. But no, shout out to a few of the patrons that came along and supported. Yeah. And King Legacy with all of his material did fucking amazing. Oh, that Jokes was are for cruise ships, <laughs> yo. <laughs> yeah, but cruise ships get you off couches, brother. So. <laughs> Pick a fucking lane, you dork. And you still owe me 50 bucks, you fucking rat. <laughs> oh, shots fired, Legacy. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As if he can afford a phone to download Spotify. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? God. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be able to figure it out. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm clipping you're not that. Far off the cl- not I'm, far off the truth. I'm clipping that specifically for him. For all yeah. those niche people who like Kyle Legacy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing feedback from his nan in Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's got a big following actually. After um, he hosted a Patreon party. Um, Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone loved it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, he's, he's a weapon. I just like but to give him shit. He is a good friend of mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, do not use that as a clip. I don't. <laughs> <understand that. laughs> I don't want to be associated with him because eventually he'll do something wrong and get cancelled and you, he'll bring the rest of the ship down. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. well, the rest of the ship oh, that he's not him, yeah. paid for to be on? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. The ship that he can't do jokes on <laughs> will go down. Yeah. If you yeah. want to hear us get cancelled, just listen to Cole Legacy's yeah, last yeah. episode. He, he was fucked. winding me up because I, I do do cruise ships every now and then. He's like, oh, you know, jokes are for cruise ships. I'll never go on there. And this is how dumb the guy is, but I love him. But I met within a, for like a minute of him giving me shit. I'm like, he will forget because he's got a pigeon brain. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went, I went to him. I go, hey mate, hey, um, oh, this has just come up. Someone just got cancelled last minute for a cruise ship. Are you around? Because I know you're in Sydney at the moment. It's two grand. He's like, yo, get me on that cruise ship, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, two, two, two grand. Two grand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in. The, it's like in the same sentence. I'll never do it. And then I go, would you do it two. now? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> two grand. And I'm like. God, you're an idiot. <laughs> Show me that sweet cruise ship he, money. He stayed with mum Daddy and dad. Daddy poor. <laughs> Daddy's fucking poor. He stayed with mum and dad uh, at my place and... And I, I said, oh, you know, what did you think? You know, Kyle Legacy, mum goes, honestly, he was here for a week. I didn't understand a fucking word he said. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept giving him sandwich and hopefully he'd fuck off. <laughs> he was loving it. He's like, I got a bed, yo, this is crazy. You're officially my favourite <laughs> guest that's, ever. That's <laughs> a real good legacy as well. I got a bed, yo. This oh is crazy. Oh, my God. That's the, fir- the, the first time I moved to, I mean, we're, it's now the Kyle Legacy podcast. Fuck <laughs> He's like, oh, I've got a bed for you in Sydney. If you stay in Sydney, I've got a, a spare bed for you i'm like oh man that's fucking awesome rock up i'm sleeping in the bed with him <laughs> <laughs> it's not and it's, it's a kyle legacy but it's not a double it's like a king single and i was like top and tails he's like top and tail no head and head baby and i'm like and he snores his fucking head off i was like man i honestly i can just stay in a hotel i just thought you had a spare room we could hang out king um, of crowd work king of singles it's king, yeah, <laughs> king, king, single, single, <laughs> king of single comedy work. Yeah. Oh Fuck my yeah. god, that's brilliant! <laughs> well, he's your mate, so that's officially yeah. my favourite start to a podcast ever. Yeah. Anyone giving him shit, that's the best. Yeah, that's Fuck. the best. So, so I mean, I um, I kind of missed you in the scene, Brett. So I've only seen you sparingly around. I just started when you, I think, left to Melbourne. Probably mm. about when did you go to Melbourne? About ten years ago. Um, yeah, maybe like eight or eight, nine. Eight I'm years, bad eight with nine. dates yeah. or whatever. So yeah, I think I did like two years or three years in Perth, and then. Um, People were like, man, you're, you're ready to headline. I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go go learn more. And then you go to Melbourne and fuck, you get pushed down. Yeah. Because mm. it's like, Perth's good because it's like a, a environment. Everyone knows everyone. So it's kind of supportive and you can mm. help each other. And there's like, say, there's <laughs> back when I, yeah. well, yeah, yeah, no, that's true. But then the scene's gotten bigger. Yeah, so you yeah. get lost in the scene. But yeah. back in the day, there was probably only maybe 20 or 30 comics. So you fucking knew everyone. You yeah. knew it was someone's first gig. Whereas Melbourne, there is like, must be a thousand open micers. Yeah, yeah. 
So starting at the bottom again is fucking brutal. Yeah. But it's a good learning curve, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took yeah. like three years to get a good gig and then Fuck. you finally got one, I fucking bombed. And yeah. <laughs> it was all, I had the, it was my first gig at Spleen and Spleen's like the, the gig you aim for when you're an open mic because you get five minutes at Spleen. Yeah. And I had that, you know that fucking Slim Shady song? It's like dun, dun, ch, dun. It was yeah. a, on my earphones before I go in. I didn't, it like it just randomly came up. And it was like, I was like, yeah, man, yeah. This is your one shot. This is my one shot, Motherfuckers, I'm gonna destroy a bomb <laughs> so bad. Like, had to leave. You know, when you can't make eye contact with people, you know, the rule is yeah. if you bomb, get the fuck out of there. Don't ruin everyone's oh, yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Straight out the door, just fucking see you later. Yeah, mm. fuck. Awful. Uh, fuck. So, did you move specifically for comedy? Uh, no, I might. I've moved for mainly for work. So, I'm yeah. uh, when I used to be over here in WA, I was, uh, was an underwater camera guy. So yeah, sick. yeah, I did that for about two or three years for a fishing show, sick. like an online fishing show, and then I wanted to work in the film industry more and work on like different styles of that. So I went over there for that, and obviously yeah. comedy as well was in the back of your mind. But yeah. you kind of, if your comedy doesn't work, you go, no, I was just here for fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's a side thing, you know. I don't care. Yeah. But then when it works, you're like, yeah, no, I moved over comedy. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> How do you get into being an underwater camera guy? Yeah, like, what's were you just, man, was there no just jobs for above water guys? And you're like, well, that's a, that's, I can that, hold my breath. That spot's taken, dude. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you how you get the job. It's because you're the, you're the dumbest one to want to jump in the water with oh, fucking sharks. Because yeah. the fishing show, they're reeling in fish. It's blood in the water. And they're like, all right, we'll send the fucking apprentice in. And that's what, what it was. What fishing show like, was it like? So there used to be a show called Fishing WA here. And yeah, the guy yeah, who that. ran that. Um, did an online one version of that and I worked for him as like a camera guy that had a full yeah. drive show yeah. so I did camera and then I was always into diving and stuff like that so then they yeah. got us to go underwater and then yeah. so I did underwater for about That's three years sick. as well it's a bit but was it just you filming fish come in like the whole yeah, time. Yeah, so but it'll be like scenery, and they're like yeah. they're talking about you know like if there's a you know some rock formations down yeah. there, I'd go out and film. It just gives them a bit of extra coverage. Yeah, yeah. B-roll. And yeah. yeah, B-roll stuff, and then you know if you can get a fish on the line as well, you know all oh, that yeah. stuff. And then yeah. they did some diving TV shows and stuff yeah, um, cool. in Komodo, so I went over for that. And yeah. Any hair raising moments in that? Fuck yeah! So <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah, like, man! Like three bad shark ones. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Back because uh, one of them was up in Exmouth. And uh, they go, because Axemouth is all the whale sharks up there, so we're on a whale shark boat. And the signal, which everyone knows, for shark is that. Yeah. yeah. So we're on a dive boat, the plane's up, they can see a whale shark. And I, was, I wasn't diving, I was just free swimming. So I swam out, like, say, 200 metres, because they told me it was a whale shark, and I got the camera. <laughs> and, I, and it was murky as hell, and it was cloudy. And oh, I, one of those... Perfect days. Yeah, yeah. All the, all the things. But they're like, man, Fuck. we've already paid for this charter. I don't yeah. get the fuck in the water. And I'm like 20. I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. 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 Free Jack Daniels deep because they're all fucking alcoholics, <laughs> which I fit in quite nice with, yeah. to be honest. Loved it. Started swimming because there was two. It was, and I got close and I was like, this doesn't fucking feel right. Turn back to the boat and people are just doing that. They're just waving. <laughs> go, Hi. And I'm like, yeah, I'm killing it, bro. I'm getting the footage, you know. You got that Jack Daniels courage in the blood. You know, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about anything. Yeah. And it was two tiger sharks swinging ne swimming next to each other. Oh, my I God. I think they were tigers, oh, They yeah. thought it was a big whale shark. Yeah, and, it was two it was two, and they don't normally hang around each other. So they're like, oh. no. And I'm like, it's that, you fuckhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking that. <laughs> And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I had a had a moment at everyone oh. on the boat after that, and then uh, another. Oh, one, you fucking had a crack at him. Well, I punched the wrong someone. Sign. Yeah, you punched yeah. someone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you angry man? <laughs> well, actually, yeah. What was it? The spotter? Or was it the person? It it's was like... the first person I saw. <laughs> <laughs> who also the happened to be the smallest guy on the boat. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I picked the little guy. I think he was a decky, you know, yeah. whatever. You're like, uh, well, it wasn't even a good one. He probably just thought I was handing the camera. Yeah. Um, but one of them they sent us into off Rot Nest on the West End. God, I'm really fucking bracking my brain with shark breeds and stuff oh. like that at the moment. It's been such a long time. But there's, uh, there's, uh, at West End, there's a shark breeding cave, which is hidden. Um, and they're grey nurses, I think, which grey nurses are pretty chill, but they got the fucking yeah. crazy ass teeth yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're like, man, just go in there because it's breeding time. Just go in there. There's, there'll be about. 15 sharks yeah. and get some great footage and I was like oh cool and they're like they're, you know their grey nurses are pretty chill but what's not chill is the um, adolescent ones who are trying to be uh, part of it so they're actually quite aggressive yeah. and I just feel like this shaking thing and I'm like oh what the fuck is this current like in a cave this doesn't make I'm filming this thing there's a shark on my fin I'm like ah, get the fucking thing off 
And they're like, I thought it had attacked me. Like, it's fucked up. And I'm like punching the thing and I'm like, oh my God. You're the first Mick Fanning. I'm on, yeah, I'm the original Mick Fanning, except the difference between me and Fick, Mick Fanning is I was on 12 bucks an hour. <laughs> fucking, oh my God. It's got your, your Mick well, Finning. It's yeah. got your leg. We did have some good times. Like, we, we, I was filming this guy once and we had to do this thing on like fucking sea cucumbers or some shit. Fuck it, how <laughs> interesting. I know, I know. <laughs> Wait, it gets only, really good. Only fans Which, in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you jerk them off, they can't be sick, you know? Um, but we were, it was in, I think it was in Indonesia somewhere, and we had a whole thing on. I'm like, oh, we'll just go down quickly. You'll dive down, find a sea cucumber, fucking nice B roll cutaway. Yeah. And, like, you know, the guy, the guy swims down, and I'm filming it, and there was a boat above, and he's like, oh, see, you know, sea cucumber, goes to pick it up, and then it just dissolves. It was just a big shit. <laughs> <laughs> So someone had just <laughs> bare assed off the side of the boat and it fucking dissolved in his hand. And then. <laughs> because he got on film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then essentially he's burling up the water. So all these fish start just darting at him. Oh my God. And then he fucking throws up in his regulator and then has to ditch his mask. So I had to. He lost his regulator and his mask and freaked out, so I had to grab him and take him up. <laughs> Can you imagine cause of death? Picking up a shit underwater. He's just vomited and oh, drowned. Man. I, I was like, I still I wish oh. I could get a hold of the guys. I'm like, can I please have that footage? Oh, that would Fuck, be it is so funny. <laughs> Man, oh, so wow. good. There's some dude. But also, I was like, it was like when I think about it now, it was quite an impressive shit. You know what I mean? It was it as was an expanded yeah, documentary crew went to yeah. think it's a brown and, sea And it cucumber. makes no sense because when I go to Bali, I ain't doing anything <laughs> solid. You know what I mean? It must have been a That's local so or true. something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. There are no logs oh. in Bali. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Fuck, that's brilliant. Those, <coughs> those sea cucumbers, they freak me out a little bit, though, because when I like, when I snorkel and stuff and I see them on the floor, like I know they're not dangerous, but I still f- get freaked out by them. I don't want to go near them. Man, I think the thing with the ocean is you like, because there's so many fish species out there, and if you're not on top of it or whatever, something yeah. can fuck you up pretty quick. Yeah. Like, you know, those like the dragon, there's like a dragon fish, and that's got us. No one told me for ages. That they were like, if you get the, and it's pretty no, like well known, but I just didn't know. And I had one just swimming under me, and I was like, well, oh, I was trying to, because I had the camera, so I was trying to chest bump it to fuck it off. <laughs> oh, and everyone's looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> you what got are a you Steve Irwin. You've got, yeah, got yeah. the spines on it, yeah. No, I know, yeah, and I didn't wow. realize, and the only way I can, they can get it out is boiling it or some oh, shit. Oh my God. God but it was, it was a pretty wild job. I had a very good time. I was very lucky to. Straight out of like TAFE to go yeah. and work. I mean, the, the the boss was, you know, he was fucking crazy. He was a wild man, mm-hmm. you know. Like he used to get into fights all the fucking time. And <laughs> fishermen are the actual scariest cunts in the world. Because yeah. they like, don't give a fuck and man, they've been by themselves for so long. Or? Yeah, like if you go down to the jetty, I mean, how many fucking biffs do you see? Everyone's yeah. crazy. That's my spot, you yeah, know. Yeah, Man, yeah. so many fights because like we used to try and steal their GPS markers and shit like that. And yeah. Just you'd be in the middle of like Kalinara or wherever the fuck it is yeah. and just... Just punch ons in the car park, and I'm like, filming it, B roll. <laughs> Put that on yeah. Yeah. But that's that's pretty. Uh, that's sick. That's yeah. not something I anticipated from you. That's what. Um, um, what was I going to say? What was the? Do you remember what the host name was? Because I specifically remember. Anytime I'd go to Dad's, he would just fall asleep and we'd be stuck watching Fishing WA. Yeah, Fishing WA, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I do, but I, I'm not giving sure. him a shout-out. <laughs> <laughs> that company <laughs> fucked me over. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, well, and we were saying before the pod, Jacko was on there, was that right? Or yeah, that? He, he did like a pop-up, Glenn Jackovich, and then... Um, he, uh, for some reason Because I'm still like An Eagles fan I'm like fuck yeah. It's Glenn Jackovich And uh, he was like Man I gotta go Get something from my car I'll give you my number And let us know When we're leaving mm. And man For the next three years <laughs> 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 No 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 I'd be drunk I'd be like Jacko <laughs> What's going on I'd put him on the speaker With all the boys And we're like And we, we would get Would maggot. he still pick up Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I reckon he definitely changed his number. We would have on speaker, so we'd watch Glenn Jackovich highlights and his brother's highlights as well, and we'd get ramped up and we'd be on the piss, and we're like, let's fucking call him, dude. I reckon he would love this at 2 a.m. Hello? That's brilliant. That's why I don't drink anymore with all those phone numbers in the phone. Yeah. Dane Swan, fucking all these people. Like, imagine calling them when you're drunk. That's like uh, my mate, I think Youngie, he's got. Uh, no, Cracks. Um, Youngie's good mates with um, Andy Cracker. Yeah. 
um, when they were on the piss one night, like two or three a.m., he would, cracks was telling him how much Kappa loves him. Yeah, because I can call him any time; it doesn't matter, and he'll he'll always go Candy Man. So it's three in the morning on the piss. He goes, look, he calls. Kappa, Kappa picks up. He's Warwick like, Kappa. Candy Cracker, Candy Man. What's oh going my. on? Oh so man, like, no. the time I reckon he, he I reckon Kappa would pick up to fucking anyone. <laughs> <laughs> he does. That phone ain't ringing, brother. You know what I mean? Man, do you know what he does at football gigs? And if he can hear this, definitely keep it in. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, he's a fucking legend. I love him. But he, um, man, he's so good when you get him on like footy shows or whatever for like you know they do a, a club event or whatever. He's a legend and he's sick and he. Yeah. And um, but he gets up there and he's got he's made a porno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he shows the porno. Oh, he, puts it on. he puts it on the screen <laughs> and then he just commentates over. He goes, yeah, yeah, and I had a crack here and stuff like that. And uh, but he had this with another one of my mates who's also called Kappa. He had a deeper meaningful for him. He goes, you know, everyone thinks I'm this guy, and you know, I've had my time with drugs and booze, but I'm not that person anymore. And I just wish people wouldn't box me in. And then someone goes, hey, Kappa, you want to do a line? He goes, fuck yeah, brother. <laughs> and then he goes straight back into the toilet. I was like, nah, you haven't changed and never do. He's a king. You know, I fucking love him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Warrack <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> yeah, those, those footy, um, they're, they're a fucking, like a money maker, those. Getting the, the old school footy players and selling out a, like a luncheon or something like that. And I did it for Q&A a... Q&A with those guys. For That's a mate. Swanee does when he comes over. He just Man, they must it. make a fucking monster as well. Uh, it was, um, who's old mate who used to do... The handstand, Jason oh, Akamanis. Akamanis, yeah. So I, I did one for him, and like it was a big corporate thing, and they're auctioning, and he's reading from his book at the time. This is like ten years ago. Did he read? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was equally. So he can write. <laughs> he knows what a book is. <laughs> you know what I mean? There was a lot of questions, yeah. right? And then at the end, everyone's like quiet, and they're like, oh yeah. And then someone's like, shut up and do a fucking handstand. <laughs> like, yeah, all right. yeah. He's a real estate agent now. It's wow. sick. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's man. interesting what they move into. Yeah. Footy players. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of them getting into breweries and distilleries these yeah. days. Yeah. And breweries, podcasting. They've yeah. seen Rogan. They think they can talk. They can't. <laughs> Shut what up. What are we all Fucking move on. Fuckheads starting podcasts, oh, thinking man. their opinions fucking hide. <laughs> oh, There's so much ego to it, but the fuck. You know what? Like, I'm glad we've started doing ours, for example, because it's just fun, hey? No, nah, man, I hate it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, this is a punish for me right now. I've, no, I've got nothing better to do. Yeah. It's f- funny because I reckon at the start there was so much ego to it for uh, for me specifically. It's like my opinion is so good. Everyone needs to hear my yeah, thoughts and everything. Male, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the yeah, minority yeah. these days. Uh, everyone should hear it. Now I realise there's fucking 14 million people who think exactly the same and, and whatnot. But yeah, now, but I always think uh, it's like, man, just fucking put it out there as long as you're having fun. Yeah, it's yeah. St- and I think, there's, and I think yeah. you're doing a good thing by recording because there's so many fucking funny stories yeah, out there. Yeah, so yeah, many yeah, guns. Just put it up there, you know. I mean, get it out there, get people laughing. Yeah. If you got even if you got fifty people who listen to it, like we, we get a podcast called Flat Stick, which we're more about adventure bike riding, cars, yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. and we go touring all around Australia and shit like that. And we probably like got don't have as bigger numbers as say like big podcasts yeah. like Dum Dum, but we our loyal followers yeah. are fucking insane yeah, like yeah, they yeah. love it on the day it's downloaded yeah, yeah. we released a shirt we've sold a hundred shirts in the day That's sick. we did a we're trying to do a tv series at the moment that's which is a spin-off of not the the long way around the uh, the wrong way around because we always end good. up on a fuck track and <laughs> doing a shit in the forest or something like that and going yeah. oh yeah someone's picking it up thinking yeah. it's a <laughs> is this a sea cucumber <laughs> like, what in the middle of a forest <laughs> no no that is clearly a shit um <laughs> But yeah, they're so hard. They fucking love that stuff. So you just got to do it. And we um, did a, like a pausable campaign, and like we're like, man, hopefully we can get to two grand. We got to like ten That's within sick. three days. What's that? Is that like a Kickstarter? Or is yeah, that like, like a, a Kickstarter because we basically we filmed. Um, we we rode around all around Tasmania, and we did some of the hardest tracks that people can do on four on drives Mount, oh, four on drive, dirt yeah, bikes, yeah, yeah. adventure bikes. Got oh, a DR six hundred and fifty, and my mate's got an XT six hundred. So we just put the GoPros on, and we try and. Like, I'm a 4 out of 10 on a motorbike, maybe a 3 out of 10. Yeah, but but a 9 out of 10 in a nightclub. <laughs> yeah. No, no, still a 2, still a 2. I've been there before. I'm holding the Corona shuffling. Will anyone please fuck me? Uh, just touch it, seriously. I No, don't even, just look at me. That would be nice. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. just at the Mullaloo Tavern. <laughs> no, I don't want to get king hit again, boys. That's probably, that's good because that's like the last, before you left, that was going off. Now it's Man, I, dead. Man, I've been knocked out at the Mullaloo Tavern twice. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. Who by mates or by bouncers? Well, or? No, just by punch. My mate, it was it, when you, it's actually dangerous. Don't punch people. It's fucking dumb. But this yeah. is one's kind of funny. My mate punched a guy and knocked him out in the club. Then we walked out. Then he got knocked out by another dude. 
Then I knocked him out, and then his friend knocked me out. So there's four dudes on the floor knocked out. <laughs> Just like that. And the bouncers are chain like, reaction. oh, my God. Oh, you don't do that, man. It's dumb, but that's, you know, being 18 and fucking yeah. don't fight, well, we don't punch, fashion, don't do that. It's fucking awful. Yeah, yeah, because you, you were in that sort of, like, not scene, but you, same with yeah, you, the, eh? the knockout The scene. knockout, but the <laughs> fighting, you used to like yeah, getting fights with your mates it, and stuff. I so much I was fun, the opposite. I hated it. And not that it's I... It's good. Don't be the other way. I didn't think that I could... Potentially, I didn't think I could handle myself either but like we were just told at footy fucking don't do it like because we were at a, a more of a semi-professional so they didn't want it reflecting badly on the club as well but yeah um, I just was also very <laughs> self-aware to know I could not throw a punch without wow. probably breaking my fucking wrist or hand and and I just I was more than happy to be the the, the, the bigger man and look like a weak cunt and you forget how like I f- you went because you know living in Melbourne now you forget how big cunts are here in Perth like they're massive oh, they're all just and they all do weights and they're like fitters and turners and shit up in the mind their arms are like that because Melbourne you're like I could bash everyone in this room <laughs> <laughs> I won't but I can build a scarf yeah, yeah, yeah. scarf <laughs> <laughs> or oh, burn them with a soy latte or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You come here, you're like, uh, oh, you're, you're like crawling down. Don't get your shoes dirty, mate. Just jump yeah. on my back. And you walk over the top. It was fucking massive. You forget, you know. Mate, the only f- and I've told this on the podcast, so I won't go too, too deep, but uh, I'm the only fight I've ever been in with, with a bikey. I won't mention where, but I, I didn't realise and I... <laughs> They hit Couldn't uh, tell by the tattoo on his face. Yeah, so you didn't see the, you, yeah, you didn't see the one percenter on his neck. You so didn't I, see the teardrop tattoo. I'm, I'm not sure they were allowed to wear uh, colours at the time or whatever it was. But anyway, he smashed this some girl's head uh, against a window. Oh, fuck. So well, that's I, a good reason. me oh, being yeah, a yeah, young yeah. footy player, thought like I'm big and strong. I'm going to go stand up for this one. I said, Matt, and it was pretty. I was actually very <laughs> fucking. Excuse me, that's cut. not on, buddy. Basically, <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Bro, you can't do that. And he was like, what? And I, I stupidly thought he didn't hear was me. He so John? Re- yes, no, so I repeated it. And then I, used, I said, bro, you can't do that. And he was like, bang, <laughs> just headbutted me. <laughs> but oh, then, he can and he did. <laughs> but then nothing happened to me, but he started bleeding where he headbutted me. And I laughed at him. And then, <laughs> and I said, oh, fucking so stupid. So I'm 19 in a nightclub. Oh, bro, I play football. You're going to have to hit me harder than that if you want to hurt me. And then he fucking went, bang. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. And then. And the, the bouncers came over and they were like, yeah, you got to go. And I was like, yeah, see, I told you they're going to kick you out. And um, oh, they're like, no, 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 bro, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> you go. This is for your safety. Yeah, I made a bikey bleed. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I won't mention my club because I'm still petrified. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I literally am so glad I was gone because that, that's, uh, that shit, I'm not afraid to admit it, that scares the fuck out yeah. of me. Oh, man, it's a different world. A it different is. world you don't want to be a part no, of, I don't yeah. think. You know? I had a mate, they... Uh, Ran through his house when he was asleep and fucked him up. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. an intense play. Like, a, a you know, everyone's got the mate story, but uh, this guy I've known for a long time, and he's now one of them. And you know, whatever. And I haven't seen him in years, but I bumped into him at the Bell Mall on the weekend, and he's like, "Man, you're doing comedy. I'll get the boys over. You put the jacket on." I was like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> what? In what world do you think that's okay? <laughs> like, uh, what? Oh, oh yeah. It's like this little dorky guy <laughs> with a mullet. Like, you know what I mean? It's like wearing his dad's work outfit or some shit. A big, I'm like. Oh no! Like it would be really good for social media. Oh yeah, I'll get a few more follows, but from the WA police. You know what I mean? I don't want anything to do with that shit, brother. You know. Speaking of um, uh, Balmore, how'd your show go on Sunday? Because you're doing, you did Brew Dudes. Yeah, we got a beer beer tasting show, but it's not a, it's not you know beer tasting shows can be like, oh here's where the fucking hops from. No one gives a fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just give us three fucking beers and let's have a laugh. So it's called the Froth Zone. So we just do it's like the a Froth Top Gun. Yeah, yeah. Sounds. I like the sound of this We just do like Top Gun. Like fucking games, you got to fly a plane into a dude's asshole. Like it's not, it's not fair. Like we got a big bullseye, and you got to like if someone dude's got to put his bum in there, and you got to make a plane and get fifty points and you get it right. in his ass. It's just dumb games. I think you're actually selling it really well. Yeah, yeah. We give them like we give them rifles, like nerf guns. No, 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 we give them three oh eight. Yeah, from stick. my mate that made me wear his jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he was there. Yeah, he, he was our armorer. Uh, but no, we give him like nerf guns and just do stupid challenges and there's. Sick. Beer fat trivia and shit like that. That's and cool. It's just a fucking loose show. That sounds fun, man. Just, just got to, the aim of the game is to get maggot in an hour. So yeah, yeah, yeah and okay. it always happens with those fucking eight percent beers they creep up on <laughs> yeah, you. you know? yeah, yeah, so yeah. where do you get the beers? Do you just get them from somewhere? Uh, we try and we try and get little different ones from like we try and get, always get local beers and get a hold of the um you know the brewery or whatever. Yep. So 
so then they kind of expose them. But then we got yeah. we got we got a good working relationship with Bolter, and they fucking sent us over like thirty cartons the other day. She tried this. this uh, I was say, she tried this company called Raunchy. Yeah, do you want to try one of the Raunchies? I'm actually yeah. off and the piss. Yeah, nice. and, and it's <laughs> ten, <laughs> yeah, but also ten minutes ago I told you I'm hungover. <laughs> yeah. So and for the purpose of anything that's recorded, I am off the, the piss. piss. <laughs> I, I, I was like, man, I did this thing on social. I was like, man, I'm off the booze for an, a year, and I thought I'd shame myself. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing a full year. Lasted a month and a half. Ooh, wow. <laughs> that's still good. That's still good. I yeah. mean, but it, I try to do the full year. I was like, I, I drink way too much. It's just too easy. Pretty this is, I'm trying to do just all the fringe. That's good. Yeah. But tomorrow's Australia Day, so I'm like, you, know, you got to have test. a cool it's one. It's my brother's well, birthday as well. But I'm, all I'm, right, I'll have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this yeah. is this is why I'm I'm not being sober, and I've said it openly on the podcast a bit. I'm not being sober, but I've been pretty strict and rigid on like, uh, sorry, not not on only fans. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm being strict and just not drinking as much. And yeah. like uh, like if I've got four or five events through the year, I'll set them aside. I'll have a few frothies, those ones, and then the yeah. rest. Try not to drink at all. Like if yeah, I don't I have think- to, I got my arm twisted ugh, the other night by fucking. Uh, Raunchy was all at um at my sh- uh not my show at the uh, darkest comedy hour they've got their own setup there yeah and the sponsor was there and he's like you want a beer and I was like oh, f- uh, oh I, guess. I think it's <laughs> that shit is you like you can try sponsor. and do the big big thing or whatever but if you just try and be a little bit if you try and be twenty percent better than you were the week before that's yeah. all yeah. you can do or ten percent so just drinking forty percent instead of twenty percent well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so do twelve percent so whatever. do you find now that you said a year. Yeah, and then you you went on back on it. Yeah, now you're like, okay, well, I'm just going to drink like normal, or you're going to go back to sort of like I haven't decided because I only started drinking again last week, and yeah. I'm like, my missus like, turn the tap off again, mate. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, the problem with me is I'm like I'm pretty extreme on everything I do, mm. and so it's like if I'm drinking, I'm fucking drinking. If yeah, I'm yeah. riding a mountain bike, I'm riding a mountain bike. If I'm everything's got to, I and don't if know. You put why. them together. Yeah, 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 <laughs> But I, it's I got crazy. A, but I think I, I don't know, I don't fucking know how everyone else goes, but it's like past thirty five, the fucking hangovers, oh, you've got anxiety terrible. for three days and yeah. you're fucking not right in the head and yep. you're like well, and you know, you're eating shit that's food. Exactly, and that's exactly why yeah. I'm doing killing it. me. I yeah. don't check my phone the whole next day after a big night. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I'm like, I, I can't deal with it. I got yeah. back, like I cracked. People were like, what was the pressure situation that made you crack? Because I did a month before Christmas. I said I'll have two days on at Christmas and yep. then I'll start again in January. It was like January twenty. They're like, man. What made you crack? Were you at an event or whatever? And I was like, nah, I just saw a bottle of Jack Daniels at home and I noticed we had Coke and we had some ice in the fridge <laughs> and I just drank it by myself because my missus was out for an hour. And I came back and I had that look in my lo- eye and I was smiling. She's like, you cracked, didn't you? I'm yeah. like, fucking over here. Yeah. <laughs> but by myself, I had a great time. Yeah. But I, I think I got to watch the fucking, you know, that, that headspace and you get a bit, like after when I was hungover the next day, could not answer a phone, couldn't yeah. reply to an email, and like anxiety and shit. And you're yeah. like, fuck. You waste the whole day. The whole day is gone. Fucked. whole day is gone. And I'm like, man, I ain't got a lot of time to spare. Yeah. It's like when you're young or whatever, and like my mates, some mates were smarter, like they didn't get on the piss. They're like, man, you get two days off, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Why would you spend them hungover? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. why well, had no other hobbies? So I was yeah, like, I don't give a fuck. I just got back on it. You yeah. Know? yeah. But, but I've that's got to start watching. I love a Sunday, baby. But yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Well, and then scientifically, your body produces more of this. Uh, I can't remember what is this a glucophage some some sort of shit. Yeah. All but right, it, Rogan, here we <laughs> go, here we go. <laughs> but it helps you break down alcohol and you get no hangover. And that when you get past a certain age, your body stops naturally producing it, oh. so you can't break it down. So you get hungover. So what do you have to do, have to produce that water? No, <laughs> like to, yeah, you can get supplements to okay. to stimulate. Well, I did that like because like, normally you just fucking have fifty thousand beers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then to correct that, you put a glass of water near your bed and never touch it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, yeah, it's near me. Yeah. So viral osmosis is getting to me somehow. But then yeah. like last night, I because I hadn't seen mum and dad for ages, did a bit barbecue and stuff, and we had a few beers and stuff like that. Mm. And then I was like, drink three fucking liters of water before yeah. you go to bed. And I know it sounds dumb, but this morning I was fine. And I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, you just fucking dry you know yeah, yeah. your body needs it you yeah. Know? yeah 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 but that up. that motivation and the sort of the uh, efficiency of my time was exactly the reason i'm fine having a few beers and like that it's the next day the feeling like shit yeah. feeling like, yeah and yeah you got you, shit to do and if you got a fucking missus and stuff as well it's like she got she works hard and she's like all right we got saturday off let's go on a nice bush walk or do yeah. something yeah. and you're like 
death's door. <laughs> and and like, you don't want to, you can't communicate for the first three hours. You're grunting and moaning. You're like, oh, cool, yeah. I'm going to ruin a relationship as well. Fuck <laughs> you, you dickhead. And, and not only that, if there is something cool, nice that you experience, it just makes it worse. So if you yeah. are like on that nice bush walk, nice sunset. Bush truck walk. Even yeah. watching a movie that you wanted to watch, even if it's fucking pissing with rain out in, and you're watching a movie, you can't even enjoy the movie because you just feel like shit. There's mm, nothing. Yeah. So uh, limiting the amount of times I feel like that. Because if I, I find, if I go rigid and go, right, I'm going to have one year. If I crack that once, I'll be like, well, fuck it. You know, yeah, I've I'm cracked. a bit like that, and I'm still trying to figure out whether I'm going to turn the tap off again. Because yeah. I'm, because like next, since I t- like, you know, on the weekend, I probably had three beers on a Saturday, which I wouldn't normally do. Yeah. I'd have fifteen, and I was like, oh, okay, that's better. But I kind of wanted to still do another month, and I wanted to go through because mm. festival time is fucking hectic. Yeah, mm. there's a lot of wheels moving and a yeah. fucking lot of shit to write. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, I don't want to be fucking like I lost a whole week last week, and I yeah. don't, I don't have that time. Yeah, yeah. but if you, <clears throat> if you are trying to do a year. You just factor in, I know there's going to be pl- times when I fall off. Yeah, and that's okay. <coughs> if you mentally yeah, yeah, yeah. prep yep. yourself going, oh, this is just one of the five yeah. or six times, yeah. then it's not as bad. If you're like, I'm going to do it and you let yourself down once and you mm-hmm. haven't planned ahead yeah. going, oh, I'm going to have a, mi- a moment where I fuck and up. And don't judge yourself for them. You yeah. Fa- yeah, you fall off. So yeah. I did 12 weeks, I think, without that's good. Um, any junk food or, or a drink. And then I, but I was like, I know there's probably going to be two week, two or three times there where I'm going to fuck up. Mm. So when I did, it was like, okay, this is cool. And have you, kept going. and have you cam like uh, you can speak in the mic. Have you done that with like your weight loss stuff? Have you had setbacks? Uh, yeah, but I'm like, it's all or nothing. And that's like, with my coach. That's what we're trying to get to that point where you can just have those little slip ups. Cause she wants me to like factor in having a cheat meal, but I, yeah. I can't, if I, I haven't had Maccas for over, if I have it once, yeah, I just, yeah. it's the floodgates open. So I'm off green now. I've quit weed as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to, I know if I have one cone, I'm going to go straight back to an ounce of weed. I'm off the so beers. I, I ain't going to be sober though. I need something. <laughs> <laughs> my, my missus is like, oh, so you're a weed guy now? I'm like, well, I mean, if you got endone, I'll take that. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need something. Well, this matches up with what you were talking about with Blake and that. Um, how you just replace one thing. Yeah, replace. You do. You are, yeah. And fuck, uh, even me, when I've, uh, I now realise I've replaced some of those, that, like the, the weed times or the alcohol times, and I've replaced them with work times. It's still like, yeah, you've got to vape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. vape yeah. I'm like, I wouldn't normally bash someone that had a vape. I'm like, that's it. And then I gave up booze. I'm like, I need fucking I something suddenly, else. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm a vape guy now. Yeah. I think so. Well, all Raspberry, I've done, watermelon, and lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I think all I've Manly. done is replaced. For the vast majority, and broadly speaking, I've replaced my bad habits or, or bad addictions or dependences with positive ones, like mm. running and uh, and being a bit more healthy, um, like fucking even reading a book and stuff like that. Boring. Or, yeah, or, I was like, I'm dyslexic. I've no fucking chance. I'll listen to an audio one. I get like, Ackermanus or, to read yeah, it for actually, me. Yeah, yeah. No, the book, so I, I, it takes me fucking six months to read a book. I'm the same, a bit fucking all over the joint. But then, uh, and, and stuff like, um, you know, creating... Content, content like we were talking before and yeah. using my time for that and at least it's a bit more um, productive than just well, just do just do something else you know what I mean like I, I always think like fucking addiction comes from fucking boredom and stuff yeah. like mm. that particularly like people like oh you go out the oh, yeah. fucking forest with the full of meth heads yeah because there's fucking nothing to do there so people get bored and they're looking for something so that's why I was like I started taking up you know mountain biking and I'm dog <laughs> shit at it or whatever yeah, yeah. ecstasy uh, yeah, yeah ecstasy yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah like just find something and yeah. then all of a sudden you're like alright well tomorrow I've got to fucking get up and I want to do this big ride yeah. and I'm like I can't be hung over sweating it on a bike yeah. so you just find you got to find you got to get fucking hobbies and it doesn't yeah, matter what yeah. they are just do something that you know gets you excited and you like watch a video on it learn how to do something pick up a new skill who gives a fuck and why do you choose mountain biking is that because Forest Field has mountains nearby or it was just uh, well I'm living in Melbourne now but during the lockdown um, we where me and Nick ride adventure bikes and we yeah. couldn't really leave the 5k or whatever but we found on our um, uh, the back of his place there was a fucking mountain bike park like yeah, cool. a jumps track and there's a few down things we just bought mountain bikes out Sick. of boredom and that's probably the closest skill set to that so, you know i sucked at riding adventure bikes at the start yeah and then um i was like well that's transferable of how to ride different types of things so yeah. now i'm really into mountain biking and obviously yeah. still ride the and the bikes bike. are expensive as fuck hey the yeah they can be you yeah. can you can spend yeah. 10 grand but you can you know you can also spend a thousand dollars and get the the job done. Yeah. You know Do you I mean? find yourself you're less lazy when it comes to that stuff because you're fucking enjoying it so much? Yeah, I think it's all like you know go- going for a run, running fucking bores me, but each to their own. But yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. all right, I'm out. I want to ride down this fucking massive hill. It's going to yeah. be sick. I got to hike up there. Yeah. So it takes me half an hour to get to the top. So I'm like, I'm indirectly doing exercise. And I'm like, fuck, that yeah. was sick. 
I want to do that shit again. Yeah. So I've done two hours of fucking high intensity cardio without even thinking about it. Because yeah. oh, and I, I've, I've, I think a few people have said this before. I cannot remember who said this originally. So I'm definitely stealing someone's idea. But the whole idea of laziness being a bad thing. It's not. Laziness is a good thing because it gives you an idea of if you're lazy with that, that means you don't fucking like it. That yeah. some doesn't mean you have to love everything. Like, fuck, I'm lazy with dishes. I don't want to do the dishes. But no, that's what the woman is for. But if I'm lazy with my work, that's a pretty fucking true indication of like, hey, you don't want to do that. Yeah. So like at least if you're lazy with something, you realise, fuck, well, I'm not lazy with that. It means I fucking love doing that. Yeah. yeah, and just do what you like. And I wish I found... Like we didn't have like my mates and friendship circles and shit like that. They did, they weren't into that stuff. And mm. I, you find when you get older, you find people with similar interests and stuff. Mm-hmm. But now I'm like I yeah I'm just love it, like getting on the dirt bike. There's nothing better See. than just having the like you can't no one can talk to you. It's just fucking wind in the helmet. Mm. Great fun. Mountain biking's the same. Just yep. being out in nature. Mm-hmm. I mean even though you just hear the bike, like, <laughs> like ruining nature for other people. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them though. You know what I mean. <laughs> Fuck but them. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, about yeah. my inner peace? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> just yeah. pissing off bushwalkers. But then on the mountain bike, you're just out in amongst it and it's fucking, you know, and like you said, you can spend 10 grand, but my, my setup's fucking like two grand mm. or a grand. You can just, do, just, you don't have to get the best of things. Yeah. Man, all bikes, fucking the wheels. Wheels yeah. go over dirt. That's what it's meant to do. Just fucking get on it and have and a good you, time. And you said before, like, because you're doing that TV show. That you, or you're trying to yeah. you're trying to film it yourself. Yeah, we've already filmed. Yeah, filmed it. So we've it's just adventure, two, yeah. like just. Well, just yeah, we so we brought, we try and find fuck tracks and they're all off road, and we you know we rode from Melbourne to uh, pretty much like Cairns area or whatever. So we just have the GoPros on, and then we try and we go into pubs and have to chat to random people. That's pretty cool. Just, it just naturally happens. Because then you also have like you, there's no, there's nothing to stop you and having the experience now, adding in the sort of coastal stuff with the the underwater shit and and yeah. doing adventurous stuff like that. Yeah, I think I started enjoying like because I came from that background of filming all the time. I kind of be enjoying it again, but then I also I was like, oh fuck! Now this now with the adventure bike, it's now a job again. I got to yeah. get off the fucking bike and get the camera out. And I'm yeah. like, I just want to ride, yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. why it's good now. You got those fucking GoPros and you just whack it on your helmet. Yeah, yep. whack one on the front of the bike, and mm-hmm. then you know if you get off somewhere, you got a little fucking stick camera and you're fucking laughing. You yeah, know? that's why. And I want to and. We we say it a few times. That's why I want to get someone who films everything for us because I feel like when we with doing all the these money the podcast yeah, is making, but yeah. like we can pay I, I want to get someone to do that because I think it would be an investment in my time because I, I, if I have to film it, it takes the enjoyment away from me because then I have to yeah. think about what I'm doing instead of just rocking and up and w- fucking having a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Instead of w- and the lighting as opposed to the jokes you're yeah, about to yeah. fucking. So do. long term, like fuck, it's still a while away, but long term, that's what I want to do with the pod, with fucking content and stuff. I'd love to just go right. We're paying you fucking five hundred bucks a week. Yep. You two or three days to come and film us, do it, edit it, put it together. But it's a long process to get there. But it does. It takes away that enjoyment of what you... It fucking wanted. kills it a bit. Yeah. But it's also then it's kind of then you get to relive it again. And <laughs> you know what I mean? Like mm. with the, we had this... We did a Swanson track in Tasmania, which is at the back. You kind of got to break into a fence and it's on the back of a military <laughs> site where <laughs> you they... You kind of got to break <laughs> into <laughs> a fence. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. And they say, don't enter. They're testing bombs here as well. It's <laughs> got yeah. a big military sign. And the, the, But we spoke to a guy. He's like, nah, that, the bombs didn't yeah. go that far back. Don't worry, fake mate. News, yeah, yeah, fake yeah, news. Fake yeah. news. And like, it was something, the craziest track I've ever been on. I think it was like 60 Ks and it took us fucking six hours because just getting up each hill would yeah, take... Right. Like trying to throw the bikes, drag the bikes up Fuck. there. Yeah, work out, yeah. Man, it fucking you're nearly on death's door when you finish, but when you get through, you got that adrenaline rush and like it's amazing. But I'm so glad I filmed it because we got to relive it. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And you're That's like, cool. oh, remember that bit? That was fucked. How the fuck did we get the bikes through that? Yeah. And we got panties on and shit. And like the bikes are fucking, they're old school, like DR650s. I mean, they've been around since like super early and the, the bike hasn't changed much in like 20 years. And um, like they weigh 160 kilos stock Fuck. plus all your shit. So I'm, I'm looking at 210 plus my weight. Where well, you're dragging it and up. And you're trying to pull it up a hill. Fuck. And there's only two of you. It's fucked. But then that's what's like cool. Yeah. Like you don't you don't remember like boring shit on your deathbed, but I remember dragging that motorbike yeah. up that fucking hill because it killed me. I yes. I got to the start, I couldn't get it up there, so I just fucking ghosted it up <laughs> and, just, I, and then it just, just fucking like, flew just, yeah. and it kind of got stuck in a tree and it stayed upright. <laughs> and I was like. Good, I need to sit down. Yeah. I'm fucked. Well, yeah. And that's it. Like, uh, you, I watched a documentary, and fuck, this is a, a perfect example. I've been trying not to watch TV, and I've been trying to just create content, and I ended up watching this halfway through this documentary, realising I'd been creating <laughs> clips for us halfway through it anyway, so I went back to what I want. But I was watching this documentary, Maru, 
I think it is. Have you seen that when they're climbing no. up the mountain? I think I seen Nauru. That's pretty. <coughs> I think it's Maru. I think it was. Oh, oh, for, forgive me, my memory. But the the fact that they're like at death's door half the time in this fucking thing, and I was all I could think of was like, how do they have the energy to even like vlog, talk to a camera, film, get all these things? Like that would be the worst thing ever. But then you watch this documentary in in whole, and fuck for them to look back on this. Trek this up moment, the mountain yeah. would be fucking so um, fulfilling, or like so, so something you know, great to have that on film. So it's so fucking easy now with like you know GoPros. And well, GoPros came. The first GoPro came out when we were doing underwater stuff with proper like yeah. proper cameras, mm. like with lights and housing, and you know that twenty grand setup. And they gave the, the GoPro one. Someone gave me that. And I looked at it. and I was like, "Well, this is never going to kick off." <laughs> 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 it was this little camera. I was like. That's HD, is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Cool. 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 Yeah. And then we used it, and it was great. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, I can see a market. And now I'm like, that's all I use, like a yeah. GoPro 10 on your fucking helmet, 4K yeah. with smooth. You, it's like the, um, it's amazing. So you've got that there, and you know, you don't need to have the big setup. You know, yeah. Yeah. your fucking phone's better than half the shit I used to record pro Mate, ten years ago. Yeah. I used to because I used I started out this trying to do little travel vlogs, and I I took my camera. I remember to Bali once, and I. Had it all packed, ready to go, and I just went out with my phone yeah. every single day. Mm. Yeah, and it ended up being way better. Uh, the thing I do now when I do Tra- that travel vlog in Bali, no yeah. one's ever done that never before. Done have that. They? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everywhere. Oh, this is uh, Poppy's one. <laughs> exactly. This yeah. is Poppy's two. So um, everywhere I used to do it, I used to make sure I went and did it first before I went back and vlogged it because I wanted to be there. I wanted to see it. I wanted to do it. Yeah, I, I didn't want to be fucking looking at it through a lens of a camera or anything. And now you got like fucking like home videos of fuck, like I got a fucking drone we send up. It's yeah, like a three thousand dollar drone, and I it tracks me on the motorbike. I just hold the remote, that's so cool. and it flies at like sixty k's an hour, and it can keep up, and it dodges trees. We did well last time. We did dodge a tree. <laughs> <laughs> it actually went into a tree at seventy k's an hour, and it really got fucked up. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But I, I sent it back to them, and I went, and they go, "Yeah, one of the sensors was fucked." So yeah, then they just sent us a new one, brand new oh, one, so yeah. disposable now, you yeah. know. And you're that's like, nuts. this is sick, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I um I was just thinking like when you were saying you were the underwater photographer, couldn't they just stick a camera in on a pole yeah, and they, save your life? Yeah, but, the, if, but then it's like uh, what type of ang- what's separating you from other fishing shows? You know yeah. what I mean? So everyone had the the pole camera mm. or whatever, and you get the close up shot, which is great. Yeah. But if you're talking about what you're seeing on the fucking um, yeah. on the radar or whatever the fuck it is, that's yeah. not even the right word for it. Some fishermen will complain, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, uh, you know, if you're looking at that on the sounder and you're like you're trying to describe what you think's under there, and yeah. then you can get a camera guy under there filming that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fucking awesome. Or yeah, if you want to see how like a certain fucking uh, like lure or whatever works you know at different you, you you're trying to explain something to people mm. and where it's going to need it needs to sit then you can i can get that footage yeah so and i agree i shouldn't have been down there <laughs> <laughs> i do agree with you but i can see how it's like a different point a of different difference. point of difference because always uh, well, it gave me a job when i, I watch yeah. that sort of stuff i always go fuck like if that how are they getting this angle below a fucking like a great white shark or something like yeah. that? Yeah, like, just somebody down there. There's yeah, it's me with a camera there, like, and a spear gun going. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, not again. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking. Yeah, it's, well, it's it like adds to the. It like does add to the. Sh- the, the it's the like film. that dumb cunt. Uh, that fucking. For, I don't know what reason they were doing it. The guy on the shape of a great white. Just going like that. Have you seen that? No. Right. That was for Shark Week Discovery Channel. They've, they've cut out like the shape of a great white. Yeah. They put a bloke on the back. To move it like a great white, and other great whites are coming up nipping at it. Like, <laughs> and he's sitting on. What are they? He's like lying on it in the middle of it. And well, like, yeah, it's like at it's six like, o'clock. At six o'clock, brother, watch yeah. out! There's a great white shark coming right at that, you. That's how everyone, how desperate everyone is for content right now. It's <laughs> like, man, I will jump in with a shark right now if I get fifteen thousand followers. Yeah, yeah I'll show fucking you. This is it. Oh man, that like, gives me a panic it's attack. Pointless. Yeah. So dumb. Well, yeah, okay. I think it's kind of they're they're probably okay because they can see the shark. There's the ones that you can't see. That's the one that are about to fucking launch. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I no you shit. couldn't pay me a million bucks to do that. Yeah, man. Fuck. Yeah, and particularly like WA is beautiful, but we have a lot of fucking great whites. Oh, and that is a little tiger nearly had a nip at Branchy the other day. Oh, oh fine, yeah. a little tiger shark. It was on uh, on the news. <laughs> was it? You made the news for it. Oh, yeah, man. he didn't know though. Didn't you? No, nah. no idea, mate. So I love those ones you see like a drone and it's like of a beach and then you see a big shark and <laughs> yeah. there's some. When the drone starts like, following whoa, something. Whoa, 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 and you're like, someone yell at yeah. that guy. Someone needs to put a speaker on their drone. Was that you? <laughs> yeah. 
I saw that. That's the footage I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking you. Yeah. He's calling rules. his daughter into the water too. He's calling his daughter yeah. into the water in that footage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dad wants to be single again with no, with no baggage. Get in here, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, classic. That would have been a better way to <laughs> sing. <laughs> Your dad's a psycho. Uh, but yeah, oh, yeah, I can't believe that's you. That's the, the fucking footage yeah. I was talking about. Yeah, yeah classic. So, yeah, um, you've made it, brother. Yeah, yeah. but you, you see like people like Brody Moss uh, from Young, Young Bloods. Do you see his, have you seen his stuff? No. Nah. Like people are fucking just, they're craving that sort of adventurous underwater, like getting a different perspective. And he's huge, man. Like millions of subscribers on YouTube now. It's just a fucking local X mouth bloke, you know, yeah. like well, people jumping it. People just want to see different, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. you're stuck in a fucking apartment, you want to look at an and ocean, don't you? Yeah. He's pretty real as well. Like he seems to be. Very, he's pretty. Uh, I guess. Uh, Let me guess. Good looking six pack. That's right. Yeah, there yep. you go. Yeah, 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 he's got, yeah, he's got yeah, the, yeah. It, it ain't a bloke looking like me with his head <laughs> off. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, a bloke who's had too many fucking bush chooks <laughs> and he's bloated again. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Get the yeah. the only thing out. that the GoPros aren't good for is recording comedy at night time. Like, yeah, I, I tried to film all my sets last year and it's just fucked. What like what all, GoPro have you got? Ten. Because of the spotty, hit, it's you, just the ISO. I don't even know what it means. Yeah, you can hit cinema yeah. mode on it. You just got to put it in the right spot, though. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's it. The thing is, it's a camera. It's trying to do everything. Yeah. So it's got its fucking limitations, like everything. Yeah. But for adventure stuff, it's you know, perfect. if I whack it on Outdoors. fucking the motorbike, yeah. You know, like I just leave it on because you never know what happens. Like and high light as well, like yeah, because they're not that great in low I light. Was, but I was trying to find. I don't have my phone near me, but I was trying to find. I was trying to get it break into this fucking park. Too. Allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't successfully do it. Oh, sorry. And I was riding on the highway like one ten, and I saw a bit of gr- grass clearing, and I was like, oh, I'll just pull off over here. And I know that there's always a fucking drain somewhere hidden or whatever. And I just saw clear gla- grass. And I'm like, beautiful. And I got up, and I was about ninety down to 80 and then I was like there's a fucking spoon drain in this tall grass and I just went straight in oh. and straight over the handlebars and rolled off uh, 80 k's. yeah yeah oh. just fucking ate any sh- injuries shit hard I thought I uh, did my neck and two ribs but I just had bruised ribs a fucked neck and I've only just started to be able to walk on my heel properly again Jeez. but I'm like that's great content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? When like I got up, I was like, yep, not in a wheelchair. <laughs> Whacking up on the gram. Let's get some likes. Yeah. At Brady Blake, if you want to check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Worst heel clicker. <laughs> Fuck. So, yeah. um, well, let's uh, transition from uh, that thing that you're filming and trying to do to your next show that you want to do. Mm. Um, you t- so told me yesterday very briefly that you nearly got, nearly went to jail and you want to make a show about it. Well, I'm trying to, like, I, I do, I, yeah, I do, had a, um, I represent myself a lot in court. Okay, well, let's <laughs> start there. I look let's like I there. represent myself in court <laughs> because I do. But successfully as well, Quite right? successfully as well. Well, I mean, you know, you can define it whatever, but I, um, I always, like, uh, I got a, um, a red light fine ages ago in a truck. I was driving a truck, which is a generator full of diesel. You don't look like someone that would drive a truck. No, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, I wouldn't know what. I, it's a, it, yeah, a Hyundai gets. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, I was driving the truck and I, uh, the uh, red light came up, but the truck, fi- like the brakes on it failed, which is fucking a nightmare. But I was going uphill, so I just slowly rolled up. You know, I can kind of have performed an emergency stop, you know. Wow. Just rolled it out. How you do know. you do that? Uh, you can like gear down or you can actually sacrifice the vehicle. And, and there's another options you can do, but I, it was dark. There's no one there, mm. so I just rolled out. Mm-hmm. And then just, you know, I wasn't high speed and I was up a hill. Very lucky. Yeah. Even though the, the vehicle would have been like, you know, 10 ton or whatever the That's fuck so it was. so scary. Super scary, but it went through a red light camera. Yeah. And then, so they're like, oh, it's red light infringement. And I said, oh, well, the truck's failed. And they're like, no, nah, we don't believe that. Um, have you got any documentation? And you're like, what? Well, you don't go and you have to just fucking survive something like that. You don't go down and get a mechanics report on it. And plus, I, I didn't work for that company for another two years. So the fine didn't come for two years later because they were trying to find me or whatever. What? So I was like, I'm going to fucking court. Fuck this. Yeah. yeah. And uh, went there and I and like the, they like represented the cell for whatever. Yeah. It's and such they, a risk as well because if you lose, you got to pay all their. Yeah, Pots? yeah, but I, the first time is not natural. You're not battling like in a, you see on fucking Law and Order. It's yeah. like they're submitting something and you're submitting something to the judge. But I, I was pleading guilty, so I don't have to go to the next. But I'm going guilty under the circumstance of. Yeah. So I've gone to the judge and the cops there going, oh, this is what's happened. And I said, oh, gu- guilty under the circumstance of, can I explain? And then the, most judges, if you don't rock up like a fuckhead yeah. and you show them a bit of respect, wear a suit. For yeah. the love of God, if you ever rock up to court... Yes, Your Honour, 
wear a suit, <laughs> don't wear anything that says Adidas, and you will probably get off. <laughs> <laughs> and don't be like chewing gum going, yeah, mate, fucking yeah. <laughs> and this is not professional advice. <laughs> like, guys, just start rocking up. Yeah. Oh, Brett Blake said I'd win if I wore a suit. Don't fucking mention my name there, right? <laughs> I'm skating so on thin ice already. you half a kilogram of methamphetamine. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not in Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got Louis Vuitton, which is a meth five. You know? <laughs> Um, and then I just tell the judge why, and he goes, oh, well, that's fucking perfectly acceptable. So yeah. then they dropped all the charges. And then I started getting, like, fines. Yeah, man, I, yeah, everyone, <laughs> You're I, like, I think I've cracked the system. I yeah. know, I did, because I'm, 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 I'm a comedian. I've got free time during the fucking day. <laughs> They're like, will you rock up to court? I'm like, yeah, I'm bored. I love... Because you rock up... <laughs> Give me you get something to, to do. <laughs> man, you get to listen to everyone else's dumb excuses. <laughs> I'm in the back going, oh, fuck yes, brother. Send it. <laughs> This guy had a um, <laughs> he had an alcohol, you know those breathalyzer thing. You got one in, an interlocker installed yeah. in his car, yeah. And um, he gets up there, you know, at it like just no respect. He goes, "Oh, you're on, I haven't done anything in six months. I've had the interlocker in." And the the judge is like, "Well, mate, you got because it records your breaches. It says there's three breaches on here, and um, that says you had alcohol in the system and attempted to turn the car on, Jeez. which is stopped. Yeah. And he goes, "No, nah, that was my mate. My mate was driving, and no, uh, no, nah, it's all bullshit. I've never done anything. It was my mate driving. Fucking hell." And the judge goes, "You know, it takes a photo of you as well, mate." <laughs> and he goes. All right, I'll see you in six months. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if it does take a photo of you. He could have been lying. Oh, I don't know. Poker bluff? Yeah, yeah. It's just him with a fucking kebab, one eye closed, trying to blow into this thing. So, you, man, it's and uh, you shouldn't laugh at things like that, but it's pretty fucking yeah, funny. Like, like, and don't go and represent yourself because a lot of people do lose, you know? Yeah. So, But then I, I got... I, um, I did a, a, a weight, weight, like a charity weightlifting thing. Like we try to do a world record attempt for the most deadlifts in an hour. Mm, so we did 3,600 of a 100 kilogram bar. Wow. We got a world record that doesn't exist and we weren't competing against anything. So it was like, uh, you know, it's the most fly kicks to, the, to a fridge. You know what I mean? You can just make it up. And the world record guy. I did seven yesterday. No one's touched me. No one's trying to touch me. I still used to tell chicks this when I was single, but I was like, yeah, world record. Hold on. <laughs> um, and like I stupidly did this crazy thing. Well, I think I deadlifted 312 times in an hour of 100 kilogram bar um, back when I was a bit fitter. Yep. And um, after that, to celebrate it, got on the piss, didn't drink water, didn't look after the body, and my back locked up like L. L shape deceased. Oh, I've been there. And Delby knows that one. Yeah, as well. just full seized, and I couldn't. I didn't have enough money for an ambulance, <laughs> so I, I got into my car. Tin man. I got into the car, and I was like, "No, nah, I'm still good." So I drove to the hospital, and then I'm like, "Oh fuck it, I'll find a fucking parking meter." Oh, fuck. Oh, two hours. I'm like, oh yeah, whatever. Put the money in for the two hours, and of course they kept me in overnight because my back's fucked. They had to put me in a drip, and yeah. they gave me all this endone. Couldn't fucking leave to try and release and Valium and all this shit, and then I come back and I. I get a fucking $112 parking ticket. I was yeah. like, can't you got to, like, everyone goes, Australia's laid back. We're like, nah, no. you're two minutes over. You got to pay for parking. Yeah. You're two minutes over. We're going to fuck you over again. Yeah. So I, I was like, particularly with councils, I go a lot of times with councils because I'm like, yeah, man, I'm going to waste your fucking day. Yeah. I'm going to waste your day and I'm going to waste even more of your money <laughs> and I probably won't win, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm happy to pay twice as much if I'd ruin three hours of your <laughs> life. So I, and I wrote the thing explaining, Buddhism. nah. I was like, cool, I'll see you in court, cunts. You yeah. know what I mean? Rock up and the, the guy's like, oh, fuck, they got a caseload of shit. They're like... Oh, guys, want to fight this? And I'm for like, hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm going to fight. I'm yeah. not, I don't care. That's my. I mean, money. for them, they might as well just. Yeah, go, yeah. I'm having a great day, an entertaining <laughs> story. I'm telling it on a podcast. I'm generating content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of stand up material. I just keep doing shit. I'm, I'm gonna run doing a, illegal I'm shit. I'm gonna keep running across that highway naked. Hopefully, I get hit and make the news. You know. <laughs> so I was like, oh fuck it. And so I fought that one as well. And then I told, just told the judge. I said, man, I just did this charity thing. We fucking raised like ten grand and everything. And I did my back and this. And he's like. Well, that's fucking perfectly reasonable. Dismiss. So I kept having those things again and again and again and again. So I was like, now, I'm, but now I'm up to the 12th did time I've been to court in the last three years. But then I did I did lose dramatically oh, on the last one. Oh, let's tell us your loss. So, well, the, so how many times legit? Was it like 12? So 11? Le I legitimate times of actually walking into a courtroom, I'd say I'm up around the 10 or 11 mark. That's a fucking great success yeah, rate. But That's people, Steve people Smith. Yeah, like. but people messing you like, man, I, I got a speeding ticket. Yeah, Can you get me off? And I'm like, what? Well, 
<laughs> uh, what did you do? Oh, I was I did 200 k's through a red <laughs> In light. A school zone, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, mate, yeah. <laughs> I'm a yeah. I'm not a fucking. Uh, what do you think's gonna happen here? It ain't an OJ trial. I'm gonna get you off. You know what I mean? If the glove doesn't fit, like you did. Like I'm, I'm doing like little variances. There's nothing. But I, I got done by um, a fixed speed camera. Uh, like eight times in a row, the same camera <laughs> to and from. Because during lockdown, I, I got a job on the construction site, which is what my new show Smoko King's about. And I um got this, and I was late in the morning, and I was like, "There's no one on the fucking roads during lockdown. Construction were the only people out to work." Yeah. So I was I was late, so I was zipping back and from, and I didn't realize it was the same fixed camera. <laughs> and and you're like, it got me eight times in like two weeks. Wow. And it was like. T- nine grand or <laughs> it was hell. something it was a lot but it, the, it was the point so i was worried about yeah so i was like well if i pay this i lose all because i had like six points but it was going to cost me 11 demerit points so what i did and and this is a little bit cheeky you can kind of if you submit to go to court it sometimes takes six months which gives you time to get your points, points back, back. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then if you go in and plead guilty then the judge is like, oh, you... And I'm like, yeah, no, I, yeah, I thought about it and I've made a mistake. I've been here. Sorry for wasting your fucking time or whatever. So it gives you a bit of time. But I was yeah. like, nah, I reckon I can get off this. You know, I've, <laughs> I've got the, the confidence of a man who's just put fucking 11 three shots in a row. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I'm fucking... The Steph Curry. Steph Curry. <laughs> Steph, yeah. Steph 40. Hitting just three. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, but I, like, I go in, like, I got the thing written out. I'm looking nice. I tell why. And I was like, man, I had no job at the time. I had no demerit points. If I lose this, I'm going to lose my job. I'm a truck driver. Can you please be a bit lenient? I'm, I'm, I'm praying for leniency. I ain't praying to get off. Yeah. You know, it's a fixed camera. There's only so much you can do. Yeah. And, uh, but we couldn't go, you couldn't, during lockdown, you couldn't go to court. To court. <laughs> so I've lost all my armour. <laughs> like, and by the way, if you think I'm going into the courtroom like, yeah, Your Honour, this is what I think. I'm going up there going, so, sorry, sir, yeah. um, please, please. Yeah. You know? yeah. So I couldn't go in there and like talk to them or whatever. So they were trying to get me to do a Zoom court. And I was like, I've got no chance on Zoom court because they're not looking at you. Yeah, there's no, <laughs> yes. they can't see so the, the suit. suit. I had the suit on in my yeah. room. Yeah. I had no pants on, but I had the suit on so they could see. And then I was trying to like, you know, like have just, a coffee. Just get and, your you tie under yeah, yeah, your yeah, chin yeah. so they could see it. Yeah, yeah. I've got a world vision ad in the background. I'm a good guy. I'm sponsoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a good bloke. Um, so I had and for 11. a dollar a day. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I had uh, these 11 and I kept, delaying and they're like we need you to appear on zoom and i'm like i don't own a computer <laughs> and they're like okay well we can go to this place and thing i'm like oh, God, no, no, i keep no, coming lockdown, up with, i can't go yeah i keep coming up with little reasons and i don't have internet at the moment i'm too i'm too poor to so it was like i was just trying to delay the inevitable eventually had to have a zoom and um just didn't make eye contact and he's like Mate, what are you hoping to achieve here today? <laughs> just rinse me. And I was like, well, I was hoping you could maybe, you know, get rid of half those points. And you know what I mean? I said I was like, I was going to do a driver re-education program, which I enlisted in and blah, 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 all this stuff. You know, try and try and do some positive things so it'll give you a shot. And yeah. sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on the day, yeah. what mood they're in and whatever. And he's like, oh. and I was like, man, I honestly can't fucking afford it. And I couldn't. Yeah. It was like, you know, six grand or whatever the fuck the fines were. And he's like, man, I can't get rid of the points, but... I'll do you two grand? And I was like, yeah, this brother, is, that's a win. This yeah. is like Bowie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, Back I can knock cover thousand. this off. I can see you trying. I know you got a job. It's very hard during lockdown, all this shit. Gave him a bit of a sob story. So got a bit of lenience. Fuck, you'd go all right on X Factor as well then. Oh, man, I'm up there with a ukulele crying. <laughs> My dad never fucking hugs me. <laughs> <laughs> phone in, phone in. Uh, but yeah, the, the story I'm trying to make funny, which I don't think I can make funny, and I, I maybe even jacked the story up, but the first time I ever went to um, court was actually fucking quite scary. And it was, it was dumb. It was high school. Yeah. I pro- there was a party and it was all the times that there was, um, there was a lot of riots going on in Forestfield. There was that Corey guy who fucking had his thing. Yeah. And it was, it was Corey quite... Corey Worthington? Yep. Yeah. 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 Worthington. And yep. then there was a riot in Kalamunda or Forestfield at a party because, you know, people were trying to enter parties that yeah. weren't meant to be there, 100 people, all yeah. kicks off. And that weekend, I wasn't even meant to be out and I had a few beers and then we had this, we got driven up the hill by someone and then we're, we're kind of like, fuck, this is fucking, you know, crazy. I want to get the fuck out of here. Things are kicking off. And then like, within two seconds, there is like camera crews are fucking there. The riot police are in there with a second. Normally they take an hour or two to rock mm. up. They're there ready to go. There's a fucking line of cops just charging us. Mm. 
quite violently, but also fair enough. You mm. know, there's 20 people and there's all these hooligans throwing fucking bottles and shit. Yeah. And, um, like, I'm not that person and I'm not proud of this moment and this is not a fucking brag at all. But the, one of the cops hit a female friend with a uh, with the fucking the shield. shield. And I, I suffer from ADHD. And one of the fucking bad things with ADHD is fucking impulse control. And sometimes when I see rage, it's like watching I'm watching someone else do something. Mm. It's like I'm fucking I step back. Yeah. And it, this fucking thing just takes over. And it that happened. And I I picked up a, a rock or a brick and I threw it at that police officer who hit the um, hit my friend with the shield. And I I found out later I ended up breaking his arm. I didn't realise that the right thing happened. The line got pushed. We ran around. I ended up getting pinned and arrested. Um, the cops absolutely kicked the fuck out of me. <laughs> it's the worst game of British Bulldog yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. But also, like, I deserved it <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, this is not... Like, you're looking at me going, oh, he's got a mullet and a beard. Of course he threw a rock. Nah, I used to look like I was auditioning for Good Charlotte. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, I had the spiky Boy, hair and shit, you know? <laughs> like, <my> shadow? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> and I'm still listening. <laughs> you know, all that shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, different energy completely. Yeah. <laughs> and um, But then I, we ended up getting put into the bat- back of the fucking paddy wagon... And uh, I ended up, bump, like, a, a kid I hadn't seen, like, there was always three troublemakers with ADHD. It was me, Trent, and Robert. <laughs> fucking Trent. Trent. Fucking, fucking Trent. Trent. Trent we used punchy. to love hanging out on the rooftop of schools for some unknown reason. That was our little fucking dojo up there. And I hadn't seen him in 15 years. And then when they From put same high school? Same or? primary school. I hadn't wow. seen him in 15 years. Yeah. And we had a reunion in the back of the panty wagon. And I said, <laughs> brother, what's going on? <laughs> and he was too deep in drugs. He's like, I don't remember you. And I was, but then... Uh, the, they end up putting us into cells and whatever, but this is like a, a part I'm trying to make into the story, and I don't know whether it's funny or it's too real or whatever the fuck mm. it is. But um, the when I got we got put into the lockup in Perth overnight, and I still regret this decision, but I think it was kind of good because it kind of gave me a bit of respect for police after this. So we're in the jail for two hours, and eventually my mum and dad rocked up, and you're like, fucking hell, this is the worst moment of my life. Fucking yeah. shame, yeah, you know? Yeah. And my mum's just fucking bawling her eyes out at the front, and I, I hug her. And, like, she didn't really want to be hugged, but I hugged her anyway. And then we, like, we got into the car. And then two weeks later, we had to have a sit-down with the police, you know, because you're still a juvenile and you have yeah. to have, like, a meeting and something. So you're and 17 or 16? I think I'm 16. Yeah. And then um, they're like, you're probably going to, to juvenile jail, by the way, because you've broken a police officer. We're charging you with assaulting a public officer, disorderly conduct, um, instigating a riot. So they blamed the whole riot on me. I was the scapegoat because there was footage of me throwing something, which ended up being on fucking Today Tonight and A Current Affair. And it was quite... It had camera crews out the front of the house. It was fucking awful. Do you still have that footage? I found the VHS we recorded of it 15 years or 20 years ago. And I got it just converted digitally this week. Incredible. So I, she's sending wow. it to me today or tomorrow. So I'm really excited. That's Not excited. Start, will that be the start of the show? Is that what you have in I mind? I think or? so. Or I don't know. I don't know. I've got to really work it out. And I still haven't... I don't know if I can get there or whatever. But I think it's a kind of... Um, a good story to say, like, you know, like one moment can really fuck up your life. And if yeah. someone puts their neck out for you, it's good. Because the cop whose arm I broke, I didn't realise, saw me hug my mum when I got out of the jail and he got, he went then went to court and defended me and wow. said I was not that kid that they think I am. And they're labeling me as yeah. he's actually just, he's just genuinely made a mistake. And, Fuck. and I was the person who did it. So on the day, so I had to do, that was the first time I went, and we had lawyers this time. It ain't me going up. I've got no attitudes. Can I get off, boys? <laughs> this is where you get all your confidence from. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Well, I've seen the system, and I thought I could do a better job. No. <laughs> so I had to do all this um, community service to make it look good by the time you actually hit the judge. And a lot of these other kids that got arrested, they didn't do anything, and they mm. all got the book thrown at them. And I think one of them went to jail yeah. or juvenile justice and um, whatever the fuck that thing's called. But we did a lot of work, like, you know, uh, Raising money for the fucking police's widows factors and all this fucking shit that, you know, my mm-hmm. dad was, f- he's crazy. He was like, you're fucking mowing horns for the next month, cunt. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you, 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 uh, it, you know, and it was a really big it was learning point for me as well. But the thing that saved me on the day was, believe it or not, fucking ki- like showing mum that, like giving mum some affection, like loving my mum yeah. made the cop drop his charges against me. So then I was only charged with disorderly conduct. That's so fucking So then lucky, I only man. had to pay like a, a fine and then do community service. Yeah. But if he didn't drop that, I would have gone to jail essentially, yeah. kids jail. So that's, it's kind of a, 
yeah, this is like it's, and I don't know if I still can make it funny or whatever or make it interesting, but it's so in- easy that this one moment in your life mm. can fuck it, and you've got to give people another go because without that, yeah, I would, I don't know who who I'd be now. Well, it's such a, yeah. it is a wholesome story. That's it's call it Mummy's Boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually called Dog Act. All right, I want to. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, that's. I think there's definitely or a second chance. Yeah, or something. there's something. Yeah, that you can I work always with. feel like, in it, particularly like suburb people, you know, forest field, like you. Don't if you're from like a richer suburb, you've got access to lawyers and second chances. Your friends know someone, like they can get around you. But we, like, you know, you don't get a lot of second chances in life, particularly yeah. when you're from the fucking burbs, because you, A, you don't have money, B, you don't have a support network, and, and C, people make harsh judgments on you, how you look, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're that person. Yeah. You throw a brick. But I, that's not who I am, and I don't think that's not that person. Who, but I still, to this day, don't think I'd change that moment in my life. Because yeah. if I didn't do that and then saw all that and how the police handled it, and how it fucked my family, I think I would have kept going down a dumb path. Yeah. So well, I'm I kind think of you're proud lucky that your parents gave a fuck as well. Yeah, no, I... it was someone else. I, yeah, and there was a lot of kids whose parents didn't even fucking rock up. Yeah. And they're 16 going to court or 17, it's one mum, not yeah. even... So I, I'm extremely lucky, yeah. very lucky. Yeah. But yeah, then how do you how do you make that funny? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I've yeah, no, got this, legs this, for yeah, sure. Yeah, Because you could tie in... How it led to later court appearances because all those stories are funny as fuck. Yeah. So you can work that. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's a it's a thing I I just like still got a bit of shame about I suppose yeah. about telling people. People about think it's cool to be arrested. It's the most embarrassing thing. It's fucking, fucking embarrassing. Ever. When yeah. I, I I don't know if I've told it on the pod, but I I had a fight in Leaderville which stemmed from something that happened the week before. The bloke saw me again with two of his mates and came for me. So I started flogging <coughs> him and his mates, and then the cops started flogging. Yeah. Dick. Getting David Floggins. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I seen like a little blue light out this corner of my eye and I stepped back and I tased him. So I just started walking off. And this cop's like, where are you going, mate? He's like, oh, just my mate's house up the road. And he's like, no, 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 you're under arrest. I was like, what for? And then his partner comes charging in. We saw you step back. You looked at the crowd and they were egging you on and you threw the first punch and this, you're going fucking down, buddy. You're going to jail. I was like, what the fuck, man? I'm going to... Can you tell him to calm down? I was like, I was just defending myself against three guys. He goes, we saw you throw the first punch, which is true, because I was stepping back onto the road, either get hit or fucking fight my way out. And then when I got arrested in Leaderville on a Wednesday fucking night when we were going to Leedy and Hippie. Yeah, I'm yeah. I, I actually knew the two clubs you were <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Leedy then Hippie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've done that one before. I've got my hands behind my back in handcuffs, squatting like fucking the Asian squat. So I wasn't sitting. And people are looking at you like you're a fucking piece of shit. It's not cool at all. And I was nah. like, this is so fucking embarrassing. It's like, yeah, it's, it's embarrassing. And it's also the other thing is, and, um, and it was kind of like some people at my school, their dads were cops. Yeah. And they we didn't even realize that people at a party in our school, their dads and their moms were in the fucking right line. Yeah. Yeah. So essentially, and then you, you kind of take with police and when you see it, like they were the ones who called, that's why they were there so quick. Fucking yeah, snitches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, now that's right. I'm coming after you, Samantha. You bitch. <laughs> no, but it's like, you fucking lose that element of human. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're just people fucking doing it. I know it's yeah. like, it's, you know, uh, I don't like speed cameras and all that shit. I just revenue yeah, raising cunts. Dumb, but, but the rest of the staff is like, they're just fucking just trying to do a job and they are people. Yeah. And like, I do, essentially, if you break it down, I just threw a rock at a person doing their job. Yeah. Which isn't cool. Yeah. And mm. then, you know what I mean? And getting arrested, it's like, what are you, what are you fucking 12? Yeah. It's, yeah. Fucking, like, it's the lamest it's shit ever. It's the lamest shit. Yeah. And like, fighting's fucking dumb. Violence yeah. is dumb. I didn't need to be there. No one needed to be there. None yeah. of that shit needed to happen. Yeah. Who fucking cares? You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So that it's funny that you said that that changed your life path or whatever. Same because I was studying to be a high school teacher, like I'd be a teacher, and if I had got done with a criminal record, that's it. My three years at uni at that point were down the drain for fucking nothing. For nothing. And I was like, well, over a fucking argument where somebody. We we're going to punch each other. So since that moment, I've never had another fight again. It's been fourteen years. I, anytime right. there's anything, I just walk away because of that. Just so it's man, like, and it's it's like everyone's like, oh yeah, walk away. So, and it's, you can it is, walk it away. Is, it you is can. hard to walk away because you have yeah. got your ego and your thing and yeah. or whatever. But that is the best option. Yeah. Because it's like, who gives a fuck? Man, it's even it's even more disrespectful. Some guys are like, you want to fight? You're like, nah, man, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> like, see, like, oh, you're a coward. I'm- yeah, no, I got other shit going on in yeah. my life. I don't give a fuck. I don't really want my head to hit the back of this curb either. Exactly. Yeah. I don't want to be cowed punched by your mates or some shit. It's yeah. not worth it. Yeah. You know? I literally said that at Hippie. 
this guy wanted to fight me. I was like, bro, I don't want to fight you. If we go out the front and I hit you and you die, I'm fucked. Or if I, if you hit me and I die, we're fucked. Do you really want to have a fire over a spilled drink? He goes, nah, man, you're right. I'll buy you a drink. So yeah, fuck let's yeah. have a drink and like, you know that? what I mean? But the, that's, the that's cool. Yeah. I, that's why I always hated nightclubs and particularly in Perth because, you know, like if you go to different places, you know, you got, you got your punks go to this bar and, mm. and Perth sometimes is a big mash of every people yeah. in yeah. one like the dean or remember like yeah. it was a fucking <laughs> suburb I got flogged at the dean yeah man. oh man oh, so many times yeah. but, but that's why it happens because there's not many options of places to go out so yeah. you all go to the one big place and then you got different dudes who are you know what I mean like different backgrounds and shit like that so you kind of like um you're kind of forced into a fucking melting pot and then you yeah. add piss into the equation and oh, then you're yeah. trying to prove a point and there's yeah. no point to be proved. No one, no one's ever saw you getting a fight and going, fucking hell, I can't wait to suck that guy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's never happened. Yeah. I mean, probably it has, yeah. but not to me. Yeah. So do I need to go back to the Dean and get another fight? When do I get this sick blowjob? But none of it's fucking worth it. What's, you know... Yeah, think about your fucking family. Yeah. Think about your friends. Think yeah. about what you want to fucking do. People just want to be respected, and if they feel like they've been disrespected, they'll try and fight for that respect. But, but it's also yeah, sorry. Also right. yeah, well, no, no, you're right. Like if it if it ends up just because, uh, and I said this last week, just because someone disrespects you doesn't necessarily mean you have to disrespect them in return. It doesn't change the person you are. And uh, yeah, it's it's and one also, of those. It, it, you watch what do you disrespect? What are you fucking Tony Soprano? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah. Who gives a, uh, Oh, he's fucking disrespectful. You work at McDonald's, can't. Yeah, exactly. No yeah. one fuck. You got no respect anyway. Yeah. No one respects you beforehand. They don't respect you now. Like it doesn't. Do it, what do you need the respect? Who of a yeah. random stranger? Yeah. yeah. No one gives but it's, a it's, fuck. It's that underlying urge of every man is like, you have to fucking show me respect. Is that fucking yeah? That that's ego the alf, that, you know that's that the, ego thing. That's that, testosterone yeah. when yeah, you're exactly. eighteen and yeah. two rum and coke. Well, it's literally you know? just like the the great nurse sharks you were talking about. Those adolescents that want to come up and fuck. Mm. Yeah. It's like when you're a young dude, mm. you got the fuck. You you want your place in society and you want to be a fucking sick cunt. Yeah. And yes. your brain doesn't process shit properly and you're <laughs> impulsive. And then you you fucking fire. But that, the that age get. group, and I still say it, but the fucking, you know, 16 to 25, men are fucking idiots. Yeah. We're, and like, so, and it's hard as well because, you, you know, sometimes like, you know, girls are like, oh, I've got so many hormones up and down. I was like, man, try having fucking testosterone. Yeah. It's a fucking well, nightmare. Well, these days, 2023, a lot you of just, girls do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, you're jacked up and you're raging, you know? And yeah. you're like, then you get, and then you're like, oh, you're disrespecting me. Yeah. And you're like, who? Oh, Fucking care. Go join a swim team. Yeah, yeah. For the women and win. <laughs> also, and you, you never know, like, who who you're fucking with. Exactly. And what, they could be a... Fu- one, they could be a fucking machine. Yeah. Or the other one, it could just be some fucking guy who's at the end of his day and he's you're the last fucking straw. It yeah. could be... And you have no idea how what fucking situation he or she is in where they just go, fuck this, I'm done, and stab you or fucking anything. Yeah, like you it. don't know how it's so, going to escalate. So None just, of it's fucking... Yeah, like, just leave it and just go... Yeah, yeah, and it's like, do you really want to be at the Dean or the Paramount? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a shit on <laughs> yeah, 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 Get out of there. Yeah. Go yeah. fucking do something cool. Save it for so Sunday. Thank you for Sunday our new sponsors, the, the Paramount. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's funny, your stories are almost identical. You're sticking up for a woman with a bikey, and you're sticking up for a woman with the cops. Yeah. So, two um, different results. Two different yeah. <laughs> same outcome, we're on yeah. the same podcast. Yeah. Same pair, we're the same pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel yeah. like one of us makes more money, and it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pod's, yeah. pod's not going extremely well. Um, do you want to finish with some fake news, or is there anything else you want to... I don't know, it's been discuss? pretty good. We don't, I don't think we need to really go down fake news yeah, today. Cool. Well, um, well, one thing did piss me off, I saw. Uh, they, they want us to use the correct pronouns for a mummy. For, for a, what? For a mummy. Yes. A mum, like, like, as in like a... A 3,000 year old dead body. <laughs> they, they want us what? to say mummified person or mummified corpse instead of mummy. Oh my God. Yeah. Man, but then they... Can, oh my this God. is really fucking with Brendan Fraser's legacy here. <laughs> <laughs> the mummified I'm person. Ha- I'm happy to change it, but I don't know if they can reprint that many DVDs. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did... Lo- <laughs> and also, have you seen Brendan reprint. right now? Yeah. He is a bloated dead corpse. That guy, he can't go and reshoot anything. <laughs> oh he does God. not look yeah. good. He's, yeah, but that's because he did that for a role. No. A ham and salad role. No, I am. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, I was like, there ain't no salad no, in that one, brother. <laughs> An actual role, yeah. He put oh, on as he? the like the fattest dude. There was like a, 
yeah, his role that he was playing was like some massive yeah. fat dude. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's the role I've been rehearsing. Yeah, I didn't get it, but you, you won't see it. It's on fucking YouTube. <laughs> Has he worked on losing it? Like, what's the... Well, slowly, yeah, but... Must um, be like, yeah, imagine putting that on and then going, fuck, I didn't realise it's going to be hard to fucking lose it. That's the other <laughs> thing as well. I used to give people, not shit, but going like, oh, God, this guy's over... It, and then when you get to, you start putting on, you go... Oh, now I get it. It is yeah. fucking hard to go back down. It yeah. is real. I mean, Cam would know as well, and you've done a great job. You've went from yeah. 180 to 110, I believe. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. That is fucking incredible because yeah. it's easy to go up. Oh, it's <laughs> so look. hard to go and down. God, it's fun. It's, you know? <laughs> it's fucking, it's hard to come down. It's the you opposite know what I mean? of mountain biking. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy you do, to go up. You do up. like a three weeks of cardio, and you're like, oh, really? 300 grams? Yeah. I've lost. <laughs> <laughs> cool chat. <track. laughs> I'm getting back on the Dexies. <laughs> uh, one gram of Dexy loses yeah. one gram of body fat. So, yeah, it's at, uh, it might seem impossible to hurt the feelings of a 3,000-year-old corpse, but museum chiefs in the UK have stopped using the word mummy to describe the remains of ancient Egyptians, all in the name of respect. <laughs> I can't get no respect. The British Museum said it dehumanised the dead and was an unwelcome throwback to Britain's colonial past. The phrase deemed acceptable is mummified person or mummified remains. Mate, this is just clickbait to try and get to people to go back to museums. They're like, they're trying to, they're just trying to generate, oh, what's trending at the moment? Oh, yeah, we've we've redone, and then there's all these fucking, oh, you, oh I can't say anything anymore. I can't even call my mum. You were never at the museum, can't yeah, you? know I'm what I mean? <laughs> this was never part of your thing. Speaking of uh, mummies. Sounds like a pyramid scheme now. Oh, I, I was watching this, and it was very well researched with source notes and everything. So I'm interested. I'll, maybe we can dig into this as a, in a conspiracy episode. They were talking about mummies and how, like, so the, you know, the, the well, pyram- mummies can be daddies pyram- now pyram- too. Pyramids of Egypt, uh, like the, they were basically used as coffins or like shrines to hold mm. the coffins. And yeah. so, but they said, well, that's the broadly um, accepted reason for a, for a pyramid. And now they're saying that potentially, because there's never ever been a like an actual mummy found in these pyramids, and they're just suggesting that um, that they weren't. Sarcophaguses or like shrines for the for the dead at all ever, and they were actually just used for ancient power sources, mm. which is um, it works on friction and and the certain stones that they had, and which explains why they had stones from five hundred miles away that were out. Yeah, so I, I want to go deeper on that, but yeah, yeah they basically. Well, where were the mummies? I'm so, so interested in how they even like. I know it's like so they. Pi- oh yeah, sorry. how they actually put all the shit together, and there's so many theories about whether they used like water Whoa. and they lifted the stones and yeah. stuff like that. It's like. It, man, it's so long ago that all that shit happened, and yeah. you're like, even now we would struggle to yeah. do it. You know I wouldn't I mean? be able to make a pyramid so now. They, they, like, and I have an iPhone. It's becoming. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> guys, you're making content. I'm out there trying to make a pyramid over here. Yeah. It's mate. It's actually. It's getting to a point where it's starting to be accepted that they don't know. They they genuinely don't know where it, how it was all done. But they're starting to think about this idea of uh, acoustic chanting. And how the because they they've shown Ooh. that you can actually move things with sound now and levitate. Yeah, you say, oh, you can't pick that in up in a very put small it over here. moment. Yeah, I gotta say, my boss used to have a crack at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking moron! Fucking fucking, fucking <laughs> man! I used to move fucking quick. You know what I mean? Cam's good at this. He, what, he was gonna. There's a there's like a, a stone Parker dude built in the 30s in America, and that's how he claimed he did it. He reckoned he worked out a way that you use the magnetic stuff to change the vibrations of the light. So you know how they you know that God particle and it says the weight of everything. So that's how every atoms. Yeah. How much gravity. Affects it. He reckons that he used magnets to change it, and he has all these crazy like limestone buildings that he built himself. Yes, what? by so himself with by himself. Yes. And he reckons that's what he used. And he that would use like, what, what do you mean? Oh, Yeah, cool, cool. But why do you have an excavator? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh no, it's so magnets. You wouldn't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got no footage of him building it, but he's like, no, I built this. I, with I know this is someone else's fucking uh, joke, but uh, there's like, as soon as anyone can't explain anything, they go, "It's magnets." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, oh. Yeah, guys, I think it's got something to do with magnets. You know what I mean? You're like, ah, oh, you know, like, a pole. You wouldn't understand. Yeah. It's magnets. So they, they well, use ancient aliens. They use that exact uh, thing in in I guess accordance to trying to show another a, a time where they suggested sound could be used. And the, the most mind blowing thing about this one stone that he used, nothing could pick it up at, that we have existing now. What nothing. is this fucking King it's Arthur sto- and the Sword on the Stone? It's a, no, it's a stone that's like fucking. Uh, it's 30, 130,000 tons of fucking something ridiculous. It's, I used like, to be, I used it's, to be it's not a stone, it's a fucking boulder. It's a fucking, like a no, it's a yeah, stone that's been moved to certain, and he's done it by himself. Which Allegedly. Is, 
Well, Maybe he, it was always there and he just said it was somewhere else. No, you, you can show where There's it's also, from. I really want to oh. know this technology because I used to be a furniture So we will, so this would really... <laughs> I would not have a fuck back so right now. But you'd get it from when you're... Like, pivots change everything. There's a guy that shows that he moves, like, giant barns, this Amish guy, and he does it by putting a tiny little, like, the little a lever underneath it and he just pivots it right and he just uses the... And it's just enough to balance it. It uses a tiny little rock to move entire houses. Yeah. No, yeah. Don't they have like 40 just Amish dudes lift it and move <laughs> it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just watched the thing of it and he, like, he literally like jams it at the right point underneath so it balances on it. And Leverage. He's moving, yeah, and he just uses a big, huge lever thing and just pulls it and then he can move the entire house. And stuff. Yeah. I don't want to do conspiracy lot, but what is this? Theoretically, your voice is kinetic energy. So if you can transfer yeah, that so from kinetic yeah, so they've shown moving kinetic. So with this, they've shown that with sound, you can levitate things, but it's being done in very small uh, items mm. of matter. So it's as if the the I guess the theory is there. It's just trying to well, replicate it in bigger and larger uh, things. But yeah, they were saying you know they'd get a, a group of you know sixteen to fifteen thousand, um, I guess slaves at the time to chant in a certain tone or at a certain frequency with a certain point, and and they were showing that this. Um, and yeah, we don't want to go conspiracy light. We'll dive deep into it because it's a really good, well-structured breakdown. I want to go mm. into it. But yeah, it was very interesting that when that that was the moment that shocked me when they said not one mummy has actually been found in these. And they were, I was like, well, so why are they uh, saying mummified person? We <laughs> mummified say. person <laughs> has been found. In, uh, and they, their, I think their excuses are oh, it was grave robbers and, and stuff oh, like that. Mm. But why are the sarcophaguses? So like grave robbers defended places? themselves in court as well. They got off. <laughs> <laughs> I would love Sorry, to actually. That. If you got six thousand people though, don't you think it makes more sense they were all just pulling on a rope than chanting at it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, well, six thousand people is a lot of manpower. Yeah, so I think they did the numbers for how many how many people it would take just to budge these ones. And it was ridiculous numbers. It was over, like, or I- incomprehensible. And the timeline in which it was made. And yeah. so there's so many things. And obviously we don't know, but it's starting to lean towards this fucking idea that, like, even Graham Hancock and a few people, the lost knowledge, the ancient knowledge that may be very different to what we experience now, like technology, mm. um, just because it's different technology, because it's fucking using natural, I guess, stuff. Doesn't mean it wasn't there, yeah. and if and if there was that sort of that impact theory where everything just got fucked over and that's what caused the ice age, then there would be no evidence of all this. I tend to believe anyway. that. I tend to believe we were at some point like this, yeah. and then there was a massive event that just wiped it out. Yeah. So do you reckon like this is we're actually looking at TikTok too? You yes. know, yeah. <laughs> we used to be back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. all these cavemen <laughs> doing yeah. the spaghetti or whatever, <laughs> sliding into people's DMs, <laughs> going, "Oh, babe, you're looking good." Well, you, you know what I mean? You don't hear about places so. like Atlantis and stuff, and they don't just make this shit up they don't just like start telling stories of this out of thin air like they come oh, from certain some things. comics do yes. that. <laughs> but you know yeah, yeah, yeah anyway yeah. my kid said something funny the other day <laughs> which happens to be a well structured punchline <laughs> <laughs> but um he's non-verbal so yeah. it was a miracle yeah, couldn't for a, move anything with his voice <laughs> for it all to line up with certain astrological things and fucking uh, moments in time and ice ages and stuff like that it's, mm. it does seem there's something there to, but we'll dive into that yeah, into yeah, a yeah. proper conspiracy actually I did want to ask you Brett about um, the comedy scene in Melbourne at the moment yeah. Um, so also, it's gone just so I know, imagine if the pyramids, how it all happened, was discovered in Osborne Park in a podcast studio by three open micers. Like, and we're like, you know what? We've actually figured this out, boys. <laughs> fucking old mate and in his fucking wheelchair. All over whatever his name <laughs> is. Like, God, they are the beautiful minds. You know what I mean? We're the like, holy trinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we've actually figured it out. Um, oh, 100%. That's that so would good. fucking rule. That would actually, that's what it can cause the black hole is three white dudes figuring something something out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. That would, that would actually make my oh, fuck, piece. that's so Brian good. Brian Hancock watches us. <laughs> They've got it. They did it. They did it. <laughs> Um, yeah, that comedy that scene. All that, uh, so it's it's notoriously woke, hey, in Melbourne. Like, um, I mean, no, I, mean, I the the woke term is fucking kind of a weird one and also an, an annoying one, which has also been derailed or whatever. I think with comedy, you just can't be fucking racist yeah. or Why sexist, not? <laughs> yeah, or sexist or homophobic anymore. Yeah, and if you have to rely on those three types to be funny, then get the fuck out of comedy. You're mm-hmm. wasting yeah. my yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. and it's always people. 
like who are like you know going oh fuck I can't say that at work anymore and you're like yeah you fucking shouldn't be able to mm. and it's a simple joke and it's a basic format and you're mm. not smart enough to come up with something different so yeah. that, to me that's what it is yeah and you and with anything in there you can dance around on the line and you can say whatever you kind of want yeah. but we're comedians and we're uh, we are dictated by the audience yeah, the, yeah at yeah, the end yeah. of the day every joke whether you like it or not is shaped and formed by the audience yeah so we are kind of a reflection of society in a way so you've got to keep kind of moving with that and you can't fight against it and find your own things or whatever but when i can't man comedy i don't give a f- i don't give a fuck what you want to do in your life sexually or who like you just i look people are just people you do your thing i'm just talking about stuff that affects me yeah i've got nothing political yeah, yeah, yeah. to say yeah. i don't give a fuck what you want to do yeah i'm just talking about a boy from the burbs who yeah. you know likes doing burnouts and representing himself but- at the court so Shit like that to me. Doesn't Some groups me. would make you feel bad about being like that. You yeah. can't fucking say that. It's like, who are you to dictate to me? Yeah, but also that's I just am. a fucking. The internet is just a series of fucking noise, and you can choose to interact with it or not. Yeah. And people are uh, creating clickbait things from both sides, left, right. So we just force fighting amongst shit like that. I don't li- read comments number one because I can't really read that well. I'm just <laughs> so that's a blessing in disguise. Like people shit on me all the time online, and I just I don't, honestly don't give a fuck. I've got yeah. better things to do, yeah. yeah. And I don't want to get up on stage and say some shit that might fucking make someone feel uncomfortable or awkward because that's not my job. I'm there to make everyone have a fucking good time, yeah. And I'll leave that for other comedians. And if you want to do something on the line, I'll probably like you know it can be funny yeah. if it's done right, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like Bill Burr is fucking amazing, but Perfect. he doesn't, you know. But if you look at how he's doing it. People see a Bill Burr joke or someone's joke and go, well, he's saying that. No, no, no. You're coming in with an open mic oh. eye looking at the topic. You're not yeah. looking at how he's actually tackling it and where yeah. he's positioning yourself. Yeah. So that's the key. Yeah. Whereas they see the topic and go, well, he talked about yeah. women doing this. Yeah. And you're like, you're looking at it wrong. You're looking at it with fucking the apprentice eyes, looking at yeah. a fucking diesel engine, whereas, you know, other people are looking yeah. at 30 years experience, you yeah. know? Yeah. So you've yeah. got to remember that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, from what I've seen, the Melbourne Comedy Scene Hub. Uh, oh my god! Every hub, that? every hub is a yeah. nightmare. Oh my we've god! Seen the, the open letter to the board of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival from Awkward Giraffe. I don't. Yeah, know. well, that see, that's a whole what different do you think thing. About that? So, um, Awkward Giraffe. I didn't even really want to talk about it too much. Oh, well, it's, about, to, right? it's about um, uh, a, a yeah. foundation that started based on Eurydice Dixon, who uh, who um, was murdered and raped in a park yeah and uh which is fucking awful and it's still fucking awful to talk about and it's fucking terrifying that women can't get fucking home safely after a comedy gig it's fucking mortifying and um that the person who started this organization is kind of using potentially using that is not is hiding behind that with his own agenda yeah um and that's probably all i want to talk i don't want to give this guy any more fuel to a fire that shouldn't exist yeah because i'm not in the scene and i was like reading that going yeah what exactly has happened so it's probably uh, the guy who runs that hates the melbourne international comedy festival yeah will have anything to do with it and used to attack him himself with his own social media presence and then he started an organization uh, Uh, because she worked it there and now he's kind of hiding behind that like a virtue signal yeah and it's a that is like staring at the muddiest part you've ever seen and yeah there's a lot going on on that one so it's like best just to step away and not give that any fuel and man with comedy just be funny have a good time don't take it too serious we're here to entertain at Mm. the end of the day and people put too much on the line with it and we are we're here to have a laugh. Yeah, not you know what fucking I mean? shouldn't be making any grandiose statements. Like yeah, on, yeah, and you know, people can life. make you know political statements like Tom Ballard does his fucking good political comedy and shit like that. But at the end of the day, is we're here to make people laugh. Yeah, mm. and when I do comedy, it's I want people to have a beer, a good time, and I want you to forget about your day and maybe have a laugh at my day. Yeah, and then, then you go home and everyone's happy. Yeah. that's my goal in comedy, and that's all it's ever yeah. been. Yeah, and speaking of Melbourne. Uh, comedy fest you got on the gala hey is that yes. right yeah, yeah. that yeah. would have been an awesome moment for you man it's like the most f- fucking coolest thing that's ever happened to that's me sick. as a kid watching it i mean everyone's got that story the year before i did the all-star gala which in itself is fucking amazing yeah. and then did good on that and got asked for the big step up to the gala as a straight white male yeah very <laughs> rare it's almost harder to do than anything else well that's what i'm saying like you guys yeah. gotta watch out you know yeah. <laughs> i'm number one you know what i mean that's right you see i'm coming for your money <laughs> no 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 um man but that that's the thing is and people go oh it's this and it's that 
Nah, you know why I got on there? Because I was fucking funny. Yeah. And it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from or what your well, background is. That's how it is. should fucking be. It, yeah. We work at the end of the day and the, also it is good to give every single person and every single part of society a voice. Yeah. You know, backgrounds, yeah. that's important. But if they're the best in that part of the society, not just yeah. because they're from that part of yeah, society. Yeah, that's true as well. There's yeah. an argument for that as well. But at the end of the day is just be funny and yeah. be the funniest person you can be and good things will happen. Yeah. Mm. How did you, um, who gave you the news? Was it an email, a call, or did someone say, hey man, we're going to chuck you on? It was actually funny. I was in the car driving to Adelaide with um, Lewis Garnham, another great comedian. Uh, he's from Adelaide and we're in the car together. We're watching fucking, listening to some murder podcast or some <laughs> shit. <like Yeah>. <laughs> and we're actually talking, going like, he goes, man, you did the All Star. I think maybe it was the All Star one or something like, maybe it was I got asked to do the All Star one. Mate, well, diff- same thing anyway, yeah, yeah. the two shows. But I go, man, I don't think I'm ready. Like, if I ever got called up, I think I'm a couple of years away. I really want to make a big impact. And if I did get asked, I'd probably say no. Because <laughs> I at that stage, most of the, I knew most of the offers had gone out. Yeah. So I was trying yeah, to, like, yeah, I would have said no anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then I literally, we stopped, we pull at the service station and uh, have an email saying, hey, you've got the offer? And I was like, cool, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> of course I'm going to do it. It's my dream. You, you know what I mean? You can't legacy cruise ship that. Yeah, yeah, I fucking absolutely. <laughs> and then it's, and it's, man, the, it's been, the Melbourne International Comedy Festival growing up is yeah. the thing we all aim for. And the gala, like, man, I got emotional. I fucking, I, I'm not, I, I was, Hugged Nervous all day. <laughs> no, she wasn't there. She, she would have. I got off and I fucking cried. Yes, yeah, it was still one of the biggest moments that ever happened to me, and I'm I'm so grateful that I had that fucking that moment. And yeah. uh, and it was recorded, and I had a great set. Yeah, I had a great time, and um, yeah, I can die happy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember just how happy uh, Delby was when he he got the Perth, Perth Comedy Fe- Festival yeah. spot, and that wasn't a gala. That was just the just doing a just show. Just doing there. a show. There, I didn't so. realize like. After speaking a story, it's like, oh, sometimes I just let anyone do it. <laughs> but for me, no, I was but like, the thing is, is you got to set little goals and when you fucking get them, it's amazing. Yeah. So enjoy the fucking moment. And it know? leads to you doing an advertisement with Dustin Martin. So how yeah. good you got a, You're doing an ad with Dusty? No, I've already done it, yeah. Oh, sick. Oh, believe it or not, it doesn't look it, but I'm an underwear model. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> There's hope for everyone out there. There is hope. For, if you just keep doing no exercise and being an alcoholic by drinking EMU Export, one day you can achieve success like this. <laughs> The best part about there, I, I did. I was talking on Triple M about it because they they've got to actually with underwear. They actually have a dick checker, a person, a fluffer, yeah, someone's yeah, job, not a fluffer. <laughs> Get your fucking Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> someone, they, they hired someone from Bonds to suck me off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened, mate. Someone's been watching too many pornos. Um, but Bond. they got to because Bond. because there is close ups photos of your thing and they can't see bell end. Or they well, can't, you're not allowed to see You can't see shape. Oh, because well, obviously, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so they put a, they put a, um, they put a, there's a thing that goes a in Merkin? front. Is that what it's called? No, no, that's a, that's a wig. Oh. It's like an afro. Thought, Merkin. Oh, that's right. Merkin's yeah, yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they put this cup thing in front of it so it kind of hides it, but also accelerates it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? The and, cock uh, cup. I, I, I said, I said well, we we're on set and I go, I go, Dusty, Dusty, I was like, fuck, this thing's fucking annoying. <laughs> and I was like, man, obviously, fuck, I said, I was joking around, I said, do they put two in there for you, brother? You know, having a bit of a stick. Yeah. And he goes, no, I don't have one in at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fucking hell. Oh, and he's got a big dick. Good on you. One of the best footballers ever existed. Millionaire, big dick. Guy, oh, yeah. You, you can have it all, can't oh, you? Of course. That, that's Fuck. why he never gets tackled, man. He's got the rudder just he's to got, fucking fend off. He's got the fucking just kangaroo just leg for balance. balance yeah. you know? <laughs> Center of gravity. Kangaroo tail just <laughs> fucking <laughs> out there. What did you have to do in that? Um, I haven't seen it So yet. it's it, the, the concept is uh, dusty and rusty. So I'm his... Uh, long lost oh, your brother <laughs> yeah, <I'm>, so, <laughs> no, so they're, they're kind of like it's funny because we you know we talk about things and you know how you phrase stuff and you know um sh- they them she her and stuff and, and advertising industry is quite like that mm. but i still get sent briefs that are fucking awful like yeah we're looking for a fat idiot <laughs> a fat idiot with a little dick no hopes no dreams a fucking dumb dumb dick virgin virgin fat guy 40 year old sloppy ring i get dude i got i auditioned i, I always aud- thought about that like it's when they savage. cast it who were they asking for ugly fat woman with shit teeth to laugh like yes. <laughs> I got. I was. I auditioned for. Got asked to audition for Tiger King, and I thought um, oh. for the te- the Netflix or Stan series. And I was like, well, yeah, I've got a mullet, Joe Exotic. Yeah, I can lose some weight. They're like, 
No, 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 no. He's fat lover. <laughs> with the no teeth. And I was like, is this bullying? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, so, yeah. Sorry, can you write on my email? I'm a they, them, fat idiot. <laughs> but that's what I, I did a joke about. It's like, what are your pronouns? But also you're a fat, dumb prick. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's so, so they care, but then they bully you at oh, the same thing. Fuck, but, man, um, I love that. Yeah, that's, but I was that's... playing, I was playing uh, Rusty, so he's long lost idiot, you know, over yeah. the top brother. Um, and yeah, got to work with the great man, the That's nicest. Sick. And you, I thought he'd be a bit of a dick, to be honest. Nicest bloke I've ever yeah. met. Country boy, just wants to kick a footy, doesn't yeah. like the rest of it. And um, yeah, I, that's I, all I, you hear about Dusty. Eh? Yep, nice guy, genuine. Does, just wants to play footy. Gen, I mean, everyone has their fucking little off-field things, but also, you, you, I mean, if everything You're I did bloke. got recorded, yeah. fucking hell, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So yeah, I, yeah, I think yeah. he's a genuine guy, and yeah. he's a fucking obviously he's a fucking natural talent. And yeah, um, yeah I was great working with him. That's sick. And so, do you have an agent that does that, or does it just get sent to you? Um, well, yeah, I, with an agency, and yeah. they do all that fucking stuff. Because yeah. you know? did you start a TV show? I remember seeing something back in the day. You had some like a show going. Yeah, it popped so up on my socials. Yeah, I had. Um, that was before I was managed. Um, yeah. They just so by chance because I comedian furniture removalist at the time, um, and you know doing lighting and stuff in the film industry, and they like. Just random producers came in to try and start this TV series, mm. um, which I think it was called Common Sense or something. And they wanted um, real estate agents, and the idea is kind of like Gogglebox, commenting oh, yeah. on social issues and yeah. all that boring bullshit. Mm. And then they wanted two removalists, and they came in and said, <laughs> Oh, there's two characters. And I said, Oh, well, there's a big guy called Lawrence who um, has an awesome band called Sorted a Deal. Um, go check them out, they're fucking cool. And he, I was always in the truck with him, and they go, Oh, well, this other guy is a comedian. As well, and they, so then they just um, they made us do a fucking. We just had a beer and a Zoom. We're like, oh fucking, we're not gonna get it. <laughs> yeah. They're like, we fucking love you. You're on the show. And then Sick. then I was like, I'm. But at the time, I was just a fucking open micer still, you know, and going like, it was, so it was a big deal for me. And I was yeah. like, oh, this is really gonna kick off my comedy profile. <laughs> massive. Full season happened, got deleted. No, I got oh. an extra three followers. But I still get people going, oh, you're that guy from Common Sense. We fucking loved you. Yeah, so that's kind of still cool. But yeah. it never oh, really? really kicked off. The idea was it'd be Gogglebox for half the year, then Common Sense for half the year. Uh. But they fucking... They pay you fuck all, and yeah. you know that it's it's shit. Yeah. It's shit. <laughs> yeah. it's shit. That production company can go fuck themselves. <laughs> Unless you want me to do something again, in which case <laughs> I'm around. For I'm around. Yeah, that that bonds money has dried up. <laughs> I can assure you. Um, Any cruises? Any yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah, yeah, fuck. That's good. I yeah. reckon that's this has been fun. Yeah, I've fucking I've laughed heaps, man. Mate, thanks for having me. Do you mind if I yeah, plug, plug some it. things in there? Of course. Yeah. Uh, if you're into dirt bikes and mountain biking, got a podcast. Podcast called Flat Stick. Um, if you're in Perth, I've got my show called Smoko King, which kicks off soon on the 10th of February. Mm -hmm. And then if you're anywhere else, um, my new show, Dog Act, kicks Adelaide, Brisbane, Sydney. Uh, love to see you there. And it's at Brady Blake on Instagram. Beauty. Mm. Oh, and Brew Dudes is done? Brew Dudes has got, um, depends when this comes out, we've got one more show coming or two more shows this weekend. Well, so it comes out today? Yeah, yeah, it comes out today. So yeah. if you love beers, come down. We just Is get maggots and have a good uh, No, this one moves to Universal Bar in the Sweet. city. So yeah. Fuck Fuck it. It. Fuck Fuck it. It. So yeah, it's like 30 buck tickets, but you get three beers. Yeah. So yeah. three Beautiful. samples, you know, you get three beers. Anyway. Oh. So you're yeah. paying 30 bucks for three beers. That's yeah, pretty yeah. standard in Perth. Yeah. 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 It's actually one beer. Oh, man, I forgot how, like, Perth is like, $18 for a what? <laughs> yeah. 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 Fucking yeah. hell. Yeah. I paid 28 bucks for a double Red Bull vodka at Breakwater. So. Oh, my God. I'm actually glad you mentioned it because I'm going to the Breakwater tonight. Oh, it's to so dinner. expensive, bro. Bring a I'm, flask if you want. Oh, oh. Don't drink, actually. Yeah, don't drink. Stay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be water. back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But wow. yeah, the food's all right down there. I oh, know it's nice, but it's it, man, it's like the old breaky was way better, mate. You mean the bar old one twenty? Bar one twenty. <laughs> bar one, one man. Yeah. You, I used to do fifty two weeks in a row. I went there yeah. a whole year. We were the other side of the fucking river, so we we were the foundry on Thursday. Friday was either the Cass or Calamunda, yeah. <laughs> and then Saturday was the uh, we would North for some Bridge reason. Team. No, 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 no. no. Brother, Metro's freer. Yeah. Yeah. Then you have Hungry Jacks afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where you got into a fire. And then yeah. Sunday sesh was at the cot. Yeah. And um, all these places are so far away from Forestfield. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was like a fucking $80 cab ride. Yes. Like, we used to do so many runners. We could not afford it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why no taxis come to Forestfield. It's me and my mates. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, fuck, man. I remember Bar 20 would be where we would go after Hippie Club, mm. like three in the morning, yeah. call your mate. 
Hey, how is it? Yeah, it's good. There's a chick here. <laughs> Just one. So, all right, we're I'll be there in 15. <laughs> <laughs> and then you wouldn't talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> Just stand You'd there. You just go, oh, yeah. She's, yeah, she's yeah. a prude. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> said, like, no they've comment. renovated the place like eight times and the floors are still sticky. Man. And that's it's where fun. I got in my fight with the bikey. Yeah. 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 yeah that all makes 100% sense. percent fight rate from Metro Freo. Went once, fought once. That's it. I'm done. And I was annoyed, man, because I did the thumbprints back then. I don't think so those machines fucking work. Yeah, well. you're going to bullshit? No. Nah. Yeah. I mean, look, i got an iPhone I could barely fucking open. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that big box scanner that was made 20 years ago is going to do better than whatever iPhone Steve Jobs came yeah, up with. You know? they, they came and went pretty quick, hey, the thumbprint thing. Mm. So. What do you got, Delby? Um, so, 33 <laughs> years single, um, is selling pretty well. So, if you want to get in, book it pretty quickly. I've got an adult, i got a parent-friendly time, 1 o'clock at the Balmoral. So, I'm going to market it. If you're a parent, you can come to a one o'clock thing because it's easier to get a babysitter in the middle of the day, I assume. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think. Um, as a parent. Uh, for as a parent. Yeah, yeah. As a parent, parent you can chuck them with other kids. As a parent, I'm about to say something loaded. <laughs> yeah, I'd find it easier to find yeah. a parent. Uh, um, a so if you want to come check that out. And then uh, me and Cam are doing confessional Australia Day Eve at 9.30. So trying to push ticket sales for that. And obviously, Who's Rhyme is... All throughout the festival, man, and lucky enough to I was the show just before you, and fuck, you guys are good. It's fun. It eh? was so good. I was loving <laughs> it. It's incredible, I was in the, eh? man. It's such a fucking a, another set of skills that makes no sense to me, and I was just like, <laughs> what the fuck are those guys doing? In there? And then you, I was like, that must be hard. And then you came and you go, man, the air conditioner is good in there. I was like, well, your body's not showing it, brother. <laughs> you were so wet. And, you know, and I was like, you were up there going, oh fucking, <laughs> my nana went to your play. I don't know. See, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Like, oh, Use that on the yeah. poster. <laughs> My nana does yo play. <laughs> but I I'm not. In a, I'm not a riff guy. All right. I'm not a riff guy. I'll leave it for you and Legacy. You know. Oh fuck. Yeah. Sick. And what are you doing, Branch? Me. Now, nah, uh, MC tomorrow if I split the bill for Pony and uh, Xavier. Um, and then I'm uh, not anything till the following Wednesday. Again, all at convenience. All my shows are at convenience for the uh, all your grass. shows, eh? Uh, yeah, well, sorry. <laughs> all my appearances are uh, there. And um, I'm on Best Foot Forward next week. Well, I just go thing. You'll see I've got a heap of different, I've got six or seven appearances. But it's only five minute spots. Right. So don't come and watch me more than. More than once because yeah. you're going to yeah, see the same five 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, It's like ACDC, they're requesting back and black again. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the same joke, you know? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got themed quizzes as well. So, Brooklyn 99 is tonight if you're listening. Mm. Otherwise, I've got Friends, Simpsons, and Harry Potter. Sick. So, that's under loose AF comedy quizzes. Cool. Yeah. Sick. I think that's Kills. it. Sick. Awesome. Thanks Cheers for coming us. on, man. Cheers. Sure. Sure.